his legs! <laughs> Bob, are you okay? Oh Bob my god, it's a ghost! Oh, he's fine. <laughs> Alright. What's going on, boys? Hold on, mate. Hold on now. Hold on. Let me. Just give me a goddamn second. Let me get these things wet. You yep. was how you was hogging the you was hogging the bed for you was hogging the bed for so long. Hold I didn't on, never, yeah, I, didn't, I ain't ready yet. Hold on, let me get them okay. wet. I can't be popping. Right. You know damn well you can't be popping no dry gum. You gonna hurt yourself. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, let me okay. just go get you some dang water then. Oh Sheesh. no, I got it right here. I just had. Okay. Give me a good old. Give me a good old gummer. I just had to get wet. Mm -hmm. How am I sounding to you, boy? Sounding pretty good to me there, Bob. Let me try low. Sounds good? Sounds good to me, yeah, that Sounds perfectly in key. <laughs> well, good morning, boys. What's the scoop? Sorry I slept in. Felt good, though. I needed it. Well, last night I was feeling a little peckish, so I went for a little stroll out there. I found me some tasty mushrooms, so I ate them. But I noticed they were a little squishier than most mushrooms. I think it was bear droppings. Mmm, bear droppings? Uh-huh. <laughs> you say something for the rest of Hold on now. I heard him. Easy, Alice. Oh, my God, it's a horse. <gasps> it's so majestic. Look at him. <gasps> wow. It's a water horse. It's classic. There's a water horse out there. Look at a it. A water horse? It's a water horse. Look at him in the water. <gasps> I heard. Remember, Mama always used to tell us stories about the water horses. They say, water horse in morning. Cowboys take warning. Mm, well, they start taking morning. Good morning. Top of the morning to you. Well, top of the morning. Say what's going on with you, both. What do you think, Bell? I've been thinking. Oh. Thinking. He's got some of them self-helper book learning words that he's going to tell us. Okay. Yeah, he's yeah. like he got something yeah, on his mind. You ready to hear this? You ready to hear this? Lay it on us. Good. So this is what I'm thinking, boy. We got guns. We're armed to the gun now. But we don't got a lot of money, nor do we got horses. So what I'm thinking is we're going to have to do a little bit of robbing. Yeah. Now, here's the beauty part about it. We got some options our boss. Up north there is native reservations and such. We could find most up there. They all got bows and arrows. What the hell are they going to do? Bring a couple of them to the ground and see what they got on them for money. Or, there's that ravine that we came by the other night. One that connects Blackwater with the rest of the cities. You know what I'm talking about? The river ravine? Oh, yeah. Was that the one we was walking down? That's, oh, that's the one we took the cart down. The wagon. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. What I'm thinking is, we can set up a little ambush point down by the water in the vein. Hard to see yet. We'll be hiding behind the rocks. As soon as someone comes around the corner, put our guns on them. Take them for what they got. What say you all? Well, I, I think him. I, I think him. Still got my revolver. There you go. Oh, David, look at that. Oh, look at that thing. <laughs> Let me see if there's anything in the barrel. Hold on, let me take a look for you. Well, I'll shoot the water bear. Nah, but, but don't, actually, shoot the, don't shoot uh, the water bear. I don't want to hurt nothing, nothing majestic yeah. now. I got myself okay. my revolver. I'm ready to walk the water. Here's, here's what I was thinking, though. If if we... Hold on, I got this thought I got to try to... Whew, whew, you know me, I sometimes have problems trying to get my thought out. Okay, so if we are going to rob people and we are trying to get money... And, and them folks up at the reservation only got bows and arrows. What makes you think they's gonna have, what makes you think they's gonna, what, how you think they's gonna have money if they only got bows and arrows? Because everyone knows when you go up to this reservation there, you gotta pay patronage to the natives. Not oh. money or pelt and stuff like that. But 
You know, you know, like the open ground and stuff like that. And they got, they bad. probably got horses, and they're kind of scary. They are kind they of. Are. They are kind of spooky. So what but, tell you? What about ambushing near the Blackwater River? Hmm? I, I don't, don't think that's a bad idea. I, I think we can get I, that I, one. I think we just try anything to get out of here. We want to live in here for two, three days okay. now. I'm First bored out of my mind. After that situation last time, how much money we got? Oh, ah, what was oh, that? Inside, inside. Oh, God, oh. gee. <laughs> what was that loud sound I heard? Something boom. Ah. Lightning, idiot. Oh. Close your door. Don't want to flood. <laughs> I can't close that one. <laughs> Oh, this dang door keeps swinging wide open every time I try to close it. Uh, I'll try to close it from the other side. You stand and block it, let it hit you in the face, okay? okay? I'll try to close this one. Oh, okay. What? Well, okay. Okay. Got it. Now cover out. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. All right. So, was you thinking we was going to be in the same spot as last time, or is there a different no, spot? No, no, you, you dumbass. It's oh. right by... It's a ravine that connects north of Blackwater to the rest. Oh. The deep ravine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we well, okay. kind of go through that ravine all the time. Lots of stagecoaches, horses. If we see a group of like two or less, uh -huh. we would jump them. Well, that sounds like a sounds like it might work. I think I think it's all planned. I, I think, think it's a minus, I think my, it's a minus fine idea. Now, good question. To me. I have two dollars. How much okay. money you got, y'all? Um, I got. I got. I stole six from the warden's desk on when we done broke out of prison. Okay, so that's seven bucks. How much you got? Well, when we was in when we was in the prison, I used I used to style people's hair for them for a nickel. I managed to save up thirty eight dollars. What? You got $38? I got $38. What the shit? How the hell would you make it so much money? Ellis? I was, I was styling people's hair. Styling people hair? Said I had, people said I had, an, I had a vision for art, is what they said. So now I got $38. Where the hell you been keeping all that cash? I've been, I've been stashing it in my prison pocket. Oh, okay. Yeah, you go That's ahead. That's not get a big... I, I, Give him the bow then. He can hold, hold on, on to it. What <laughs> 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 uh, uh, the heck was that for? We could have had that for supplies. We well, could have bought a horse. I thought we was just spending time together as a family. We got him good. Right in the face. Ow. <laughs> you goddamn idiot. We needed that money. We could have had a horse this whole time. I didn't know. I thought we was just spending time mean, together. You, 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 you. I thought, okay. I didn't know it was new about plan. making... Okay, new plan. New plan. All right. Okay, kind of a new plan. Okay. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to post up there at the Blackwater Ravine. See if we find anybody. And then if we don't, we're heading up to Emerald. We're going to get a horse. Something small and strength. It's something cheap we can get. If we can get two of them, perfect. Okay. That's the plan now. Yeah, that sounds good to me. More, we get to spend more time together. That's exciting. Well, I think it'll be my fine. Sounds good to me. We just need something, need something easy so we can start getting our, our gloves nice and wet for the day. That's right, wetting them. Well, hopefully maybe we'll come across something with the moonshine or something we can get our lips wet. Let's move. Bo, can I ask you a question? No. Okay. Bob, can I ask you a question? Uh, did you ask? Did you ask Bo? Yeah, he, he told me to ask you. Uh, what is it? Okay, so I heard, I heard that I heard, when I was in prison, you remember Rashad? I knew that guy named Rashad. Uh -huh. Rashad told me that over, there was another entire, another entire place across the big old lake, the big old ocean there. Huh? And it's sort of like, it's sort of like here, but it's real big and it's real warm. And they have deers over there, but they're giant deers and they got big long necks and they got spots all over them. And they force themselves to grow their necks all out so they can eat the trees. You ever heard something like that? What the hell are you going on about, Alice? It's a big deer. It's got a big long neck. It's got spots all over it. Big deer with spots? 
How big are we talking? Uh, I've seen some big deer out here. You talking bigger? Way bigger. Apparently, they they got legs like twice as tall as a man. Or a man? Sounds, sounds like some sort of monster to me. Oof. They, they said that it was right over across the waterway? Yeah, like if he was to take a steamboat and we was to... Oh. Oh, uh, don't mind us, sir. Just conserva no, no, conservation nothing. officers. Uh, yeah, I heard that they was they were across the water, and they're big old they're big old deers, but they got big old long necks. Big deer, long neck. Well, well, what the hell about them, Ellis? Well, I was just wondering if you ever heard of something like that, or if Rashad was just making them up. Uh, uh I can't say I ever did no. Never hear nothing like that uh, across the waterway. No, never seen, seen nothing across the water. Okay. Hey, wasn't this that place where that guy Jenny or whatever? Didn't he shoot? Then he then he wasn't he mucking around with that? Yeah. That thing back there, remember? Mucking around with all oh, that dang thing there we was talking yeah. about the other day. That damn yeah, thing exactly. looked like it came from Satan himself. Yeah. Hey, Bo, I don't mean to tell you your business or nothing, but should we be walking straight in the middle of the path when we got firearms and whatnot? Are we not the gummer boy? Where, where he, he, I, where What's the gummer boy? What's in your boys? hand right now? I got it. That's a shotgun. I got What's a shotgun. What's in your hand right now there, Bob? Uh, last time I checked, it was a dusty old, hard, smelly harmonica in one hand. And a pistol, a revolver, and the other. That's right. Who are we to be afraid of? Uh, We're the toughest and baddest sons of bitches around. We're wanted. We are wanted. What are they going to do? Come find us? Huh? Try I to mean, get that reward? I don't fucking think so. It's $500 is a lot of money. It is a lot of money, but I got more bullets, I think. <laughs> I think okay. I, got, I got more bullets. I and you know what else yeah. I'm thinking? What are you thinking? I'm kind of liking these clothes. My, this shirt does fit me. I ain't never had a shirt fit me quite like this. Normally they're too short or the sleeves hurt. Never did have a pair of pants that fit as nicely as this one. You know what I'm thinking? I'm kind of liking this attire. Kind of represents us quite well, I recollect. Don't you agree? Yeah. What? I kind of like the look. We're what, the when boys. We'll get our message across first time they say that. That's right. Well, when you say that they represent, when they represent us, you mean like, you mean like we've always been in prison our whole lives? No, like we're, we're bad folks. Man. Dangerous oh, man. That's what I'm man. trying to get at. Ellis. Oh, oh and let's get with the program. I'm Who's just, bad? I, Who's bad? I, I, oh, I'm bad. Who's bad? I, Who's bad? I, I, Who's bad? Oh, I'm bad. You bad? <laughs> I'm bad. Who's bad? Yeah. I'm bad. Who's bad? bad. Who's bad? bad. Who's bad? Whoa. 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 Oh, oh, oh. I, okay, I got a little carried away get there. Be careful now. We don't have a lot of bullets. You got to be a little careful on that. Okay, yeah, I'm going to be careful. Easy on that one. Come on. Okay, man. I'm going to be careful. Damn, on that. Blue I, blue I got carried away. I just, oh, I, I just got excited. Y'all was making me feel like I was real bad. Where's the Hello? gummer boy? Mind your own. Where's the gummer boy? Where's the gummer boy? Hey! He just, he just bumped he into you. He's a friendly he, way. He's a, fear us. He's a, he, hey! I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dangerous man. I'm a bad man. You, you better, Move you better on, remember. Timer. Yeah, the only reason you're going you is because I said you could. That's right, you run. That's run. right, ride away from me. Run. If you're scared of us, just keep on riding at, at, a, at a leisurely pace. If Where? you're scared, look at him go, he's scared. <laughs> Got him. Because I'm bad, I'm bad. I know it. I'm bad. I'm thinking of making that into one of them records that you th was talking I about, Bob. Fancy thing you got there, really? I'm gonna work on it. You just gotta let people know the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you dress, the way you. Gotta let them know we're some bad boys, dummy boys, bad, bad to the bone. You might even say, "Yeah, hey, I got them. Who's bad?" I'm, I'm bad. bad. Yeah, who's bad? I'm bad. Well, you're doing wrong. <laughs> you're doing wrong.
<laughs> All right. Make sure we got uh, right. Fuck, I love these characters so much. When it comes to the situation, I'm the man, the negotiator, okay. the prospector. Uh, not prospector, wait. What, what's the word I'm looking for? Pioneer? Uh, Pro protractor? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's the one. I think so. Yeah. Okay. I'm, uh, uh, I'm the one. Get, get, uh... Damn it. Damn it! I'm, uh, Come on, it's up. Slow that, down. Slow down. Use your words. Uh, my head hurts. I'm the You're one. Okay. I'm uh -huh. the one who uh, does the squeezing of the lemon. Yeah, the lemon squeeze. Okay. I hold them down and you squeeze them. That's right. That. I, I think. Bo yeah. Bob and I will hold them down and you just squeeze every last drop Bob's out of them. Roper. I Bob's got the rope. Roper. Yep. That's right. You squeeze him while Bob blasts his rope all over him. Bob goes through the torture of the popping and the smacking and the hubbing. Yeah. Well, you both are tortured. You're both are tortured. Okay. You both pop the shit I could probably out. torture someone. I'd hold him down and I'd do things like, like touch my eyeball and make him watch. <laughs> That'll <would> show him. <laughs> God damn it. He's gross. <laughs> it's gonna be real yucky. They're gonna be like, ew, he's touching his eyeball. I'll do whatever y'all want. Uh, hard, let's have a look over here. Hard to walk with this camera. Oh so my cool. god, is that one of them long things that got spots on it? Uh, it has horns. Careful, look out, boy. It's a deer, it's a deer with horns. Careful. No, you dumbass, it's a goat. Oh. Don't want goat. him to ram you. He's looking at us like he wants to ram us. Something he wouldn't bad. ram me. I one time what you going to do, huh? Remember yeah. last time you tried to challenge one of them to a ram off? Yeah, he he bopped me right in my beatness. <laughs> you ain't you ain't never was able to quite the same after that. It's true, yeah. That one hurt real bad. Oh my god! Look, we got we got some sort of campsite or something. Ooh. Hey. There's nothing here. That's a dang it. Could never be right too sharp. Uh, it's, huh? it's empty. It's just. Just buy it. Well, there's a little cup of coffee. Okay. Hey, I don't know, they're plum dry over here. Ain't nothing too much to look at. What's in this thing? J. J. Baylor and Son. Jabaylor. 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 Oh, Jabaylor. 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 I don't know what the heck that is. Must be part of the dice circuit. Jabate alert. Sometimes I debate when I'm alone in the bathtub. That's disgusting, Ellis. I was just sharing. Keep it to yourself. Some things ain't supposed to be shared with your brothers too much. What you looking at, Bo? What, what you, you see? What you see, Bo? I'm looking at the grand plan. You see Big that, plan. boys? I see it over there. You see all that? That's a lot. Is that all going to be ours? We going to own that? All of this is going to be ours. Oh, man, that's exciting. And we can only move up from here, boys. Sky is the limit. Then beyond that, heaven. We don't want to go that high because that means we're, that probably means yeah. we're dead. But we're going to go to the sky limit. Our sky is pretty high up there. The no sky one can stop us. Nobody. No one can stop us. Maybe, maybe 10 men, but... Wait. Yeah, probably ten. Ten would probably ten, maybe ten. like a real tough five. Yeah, but I took. if the odds are even, no one can stop us. No one can stop us. No one. No one. I wonder if I wonder if you can hear yourself. If you do it hard enough towards the mountaintop, it'll echo right back to you. you Gotta allow one strong, singular, as loud as you can. Okay, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'll put more of your gut into it. That sounds more like a kiss. <laughs> How you get there? Start to get something there. I start. I started to get a little bit. Maybe let's get a little bit more wet next time. I'm gonna try. Wetting them lips up, boy. <laughs> You remember when Par done tried to do that with a dry lip? Remember what he happened? He gas done blew his lip out and, and busted it in two. Blew a gasket, he did. <laughs> Echolocation. 
it's like skipping stones. <laughs> thank you guys for watching so early. Smoo Man, uh, thank you for the Prime 20, dude. So fun. All right, boys. It's a good way to wake up. The I have the ravine. The ravine. That's right. The ravine. We'll use the ravine to get down to the locations. We're going to set up our little bit of ambushing. Sure. Maybe we'll find some unsuspecting whores taking a bath. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm a, oh, uh-oh. He got the whooping cough. I do not. Well, that's you sure? Remember Bo last night? He fell asleep out in the rain. Uh-oh, that's what happened. I asleep out in the rain. A certain fat ass rolled over and kicked me out the door. Bob, <laughs> why are you kicking B Bo out the door like that? I didn't do such a thing. My you ass ain't fat. Oh, well, I, I the, that what you said was kind of ambiguous. It could have applied to either of us. Where'd you learn all these big goddamn words? Well, I, I learned them from my friends when we was locked up. And I don't mean to be too parabola, but I'm much smarter than I was when we went in. What friend? I never saw you hanging out with friends. All I saw you was just sitting around in your room drawing a piece of paper and making smiley faces and talking to them. I, I, I knew people. I was, I was friends with. Yeah, giving with all Warren. these hairstylings and making all this money and now all these big words. I don't know who the heck you was hanging out with. There ain't nothing wrong with no one just trying a little bit to do some self improving, okay? Improve. We'll start improving that shot of yours. And two days ago, we was practicing on them tin cans in the back of that cabin. You missed every single shot. I, I just sometimes I think that you don't need to shoot nobody if you just shoot near them and the gun makes a big bang and a lot of fire comes out of it. They're usually pretty scared yeah, and they'll just do what, what you want. When that happens, Ellis, that's called missing. You know what comes after that? You dying because they <laughs> don't. Don't listen. Gummer boys never say die. That's true, yeah. If you keep missing like the way you've been missing all the time, we all gonna end up dead. Unless That's right. the other man cheating at you also misses a lot, then uh, then everyone's just gonna be missing. And then we're just gonna run out of bullets. And then we're gonna have to start gumming. I'm not afraid to gum a man to, into submission. <laughs> <laughs> oh, caution here. Oh, jeez. Hold on now. Cold, 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 cold. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's cold. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, oh. Oh, come on. Uh, uh, what are you afraid to get your pantaloons a little I wet? Don't wanna get, I don't want to get my... Uh, it's so cold, I want to get my pants wet. Gee. Yeah, you wouldn't want to get your piss-covered pants wet in water, would you? Now we got to wait for Ellis. Put the pants back on, the socks and the shoes. Listen, okay? Some of us care about the condition, of, especially if we's gonna be keeping these clothes, we need to take good care of them, okay? Gotta start getting tough, Ellis. Who's yeah, bad? I'm, right. I, I'm bad. Who's bad? Who's I'm bad? bad. I, I, I don't care about my Who's pants. Who's bad? That's what I thought. I like the way I look, rugged and tough. Yeah. The more grittier my clothes, the more grittier yeah. I look. There. See? Yeah. That's, that's how tough I am. That's more like it. Threw my pants in the river. Well, I should get them back, shouldn't I, Bo? He's looking at me like I should get them back. Right Don't take the goddamn pants. <laughs> You're looking right through. Careful, Alice. You're going to get them leeches again. <sighs> okay. Been skipping Come leg on. day. Oh, there's no lurches. There's no lurches in this in the river. I is there? ain't taking them off you this time, Ellis. Bo can do it this time. I ain't taking leeches off your damn ass again. Him. No, no way, no say, no. Hey, I ain't touching it. Not again. That's okay. When we stop, I'll just put them over the fire. That'll get rid of them. Uh huh. Sure am getting hungry, fellas. Maybe we might be able to spare one of these bullets oh. for something worth eating. What do you boys think, huh? 
I could, I would kill for a nice stew that we could cook up and have. A oh, mm, little bit of barley, a couple of carrots, maybe some wild taters, salt, oh, pepper. Really? Oh, you, just, you just keep going like that. I might just eat my own damn shoe. I've nothing but dry bread today. Stop. Ooh, what do we got here? I think this is it. There's something in the water. Is it a little lurch? What's in the water? I see something, something around there, huh? What is that thing just floating around in there? It looked like, mm -hmm. looked like, uh, like what you just like you were saying, potatoes, and meat, and potatoes, and Me, meat, bread, and potatoes and bread. Where'd it go, Alice? You see it? I, I, I lost it. It was there for a second. Oh, just give me one second, man. It's almost like there's a gigantic spider on my mouth. Just give me a second here. Handle it, Alice. Uh, Lurker, McGirt, and Zool, thank you guys for your prime subs. Good morning to you. <gasps> a man across the road. Hey, Bo. Is we still supposed to be acting like little sneaks? Or are we just trying to point guns at every which person comes our way? Mm, what do you think? Hmm? You think we should be more careful? Well, if we're bad, then I guess we're bad, huh? I suppose, yeah. Ain't no I man. I figured that we got guns on their teeth, but maybe we shouldn't be so careful anymore. I mean... We're trying to find people to kill. Well, I mean, not kill. I mean, we're trying to find people to rob. If you think but, about it, we already told those other mans we had unheld up for all these guns about us, and we right in their face, and they, you know damn well they went into every saloon and told them that they done seen the boys with no guns. Hmm. Mean like that guy right there? Hey, sir! Did we scare you? You scared, sir? You know who they are? Sir, it's we're, that right, that sound familiar? You been in the saloon in Valentine? They been telling stories about us? Sir? Yeah, he said he'd been, he'd known us. He said he'd known us and he didn't want no trouble. He just kept on riding. Hmm. Now, maybe we should. They look like people aren't scared of us yet. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should be a little careful. All right, let's be careful with the road. Let's stay by the river and be a little more cautious. Good idea, Bob. You see, that's why you're my favorite brother. Always. Always was the more observing of the three. That's right. right. That's right. Oh, here comes. I got the dumb. spider that was on that was on my mouth. I ate it. I'm not. I'm a little less hungry now. I'm still pretty hungry, but a little less hungry. Yeah. yeah. Early morning fog coming in. Oh, brother, we're out there roleplay. Ah, what's that? What are those? What? Where? Ducks. Oh, oh, they was ducks. Don't scare me like that, Ellis. I wasn't trying to. I just saw something spoopy, and I didn't want to jump out and get you. Well, don't just go. Ah, ooh. Say what it is. Let me know what's going on. I didn't know what it was. It was making spoopy sounds like rah, 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 rah. We done been out here for a week and a half now. You should know now by now what duck is. Well, sometimes I just forget. He's just around here quacking it up. Ain't shit out here. A duck, you say, makes me think maybe I should try to write one of them songs that uh, Bob was writing. Something like, can you quack? Can you quack like a duck? <laughs> can I don't know quack, how the rest... Can, can, I don't know. Can you quack, quack? Can you quack like a duck when you... Look out, what's that right there? We what is critter. that? What is it? Is it, a, is it a bad guy? It's a goddamn possum. Oh, okay. Is 
say Alice? What? Uh huh. What? Hey, I'm Alice. What? Whoa, over here. What? Oh. What? 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 what, what? what? Over here. <laughs> Where'd it go? Where'd it go? What? He's looking for the possum. Probably what? wants to eat it. Ah, oh, there it is. I was gonna ask Alice. What sound Where does is a, it? I'm hungry. What sound does a possum make? <gasps> ah! Where is it? Right here. I got him. I, I hear you. Yeah. Don't freeze. Don't move, asshole. Don't move. Guess who? <laughs> you want to ask him any questions? Yeah. What sound yeah. does a possum make? <laughs> oh! Oh, he jumped in. He tried to nibble on you. Is that a possum or is that... A... God dang. Oh! 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 Shoot. Oh! Oh! My God. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, what? Nothing. <laughs> he put his fingers inside his bum and ripped his skin off. Oh my God! I ain't never seen nothing like that in my life. Oh. Oh come on, you were in prison. That's true. That's how I get my money out of my prison pocket. Two fingers deep. That's right. Don't forget the change. Knuckle deep. Now you just gonna carry around that bloody carcass on your shoulder. Well, I'm hoping we can get a campfire going so we can cook it. Starve it. That would be nice. I think it's a good look for the Gummer boys walking around with dead it. carcasses on our shoulders. This is it. <gasps> that's the that's the bridge oh, no. you was talking about? This is the ravine, right? Oh right here. Okay. The ravine. The ravine. Okay, let's get a plan. All right, let's get a plan together. Yeah, let's plan. What you thinking? What you we thinking? We need to get up locations here. Find nice spots. Up here's nice. You can see a good distance. Oh, it's not close though. Oh, there's bush right here. Come here. Oh, bushes! Yay! It's like when we played hide and seek. <laughs> Man, we play hide and seek. Leave Alice out there for days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, She's I do remember good. that. I I get cold, I'll be sitting out there all night. Mama will come out and say, your brother's down at the swimming hole. Then I'd realize we wasn't playing no more. That's because you're so good at hiding. I don't know how you do it, you big son of a bitch. Mm, let's see here. <gasps> there's a man bushes. coming. <gasps> there's a man coming. Careful now. Uh, 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 uh. <coughs> Why take a bite? He ain't acting none the wiser. I'm gonna hide in the bushes a little bit. I'm a little bit of. I'm a Get little a bigger bit bush, Atlas? I know. I don't know where one is. Maybe I could just pretend that I'm a tree. Just get a big bush. It's like, it's like wind is going through my leaves. <laughs> He done heard the gummer sound and he didn't stop. Well, I suppose that's good. I suppose people ain't fearing us as much as they should be. Oh, well, don't worry. They will. They will. We'll stay here for about five to ten minutes see what comes around. Then if not, we're going to go down the ravine more. There's some other passages. Well, how are we going to get someone to stop? You got a gun in your damn hand. I'm just gonna point it at it and be like, hey, you better stop or I'll, That's right. I'm gonna shoot you with my yeah, big gun. Yeah, don't you worry. I'll make sure they stop. Okay, you Bob, got Bob, you get them to the ground. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's you make road. sure there's no one else around. Make sure to keep a gun on them in things get itchy. Okay, I will do. We got this. Now we just wait. With the gums in our mouths? Pistols in our hands. And That's right. Table. Once they start recognizing that sound, once they come on by, we. And you don't see them shit their breeches? That's when you know we doing our job right and we's notorious. That's right, breech shitting. Keep those gums wet, boys. Gotta make them pops bounce around the ravine.
This reminds me of the old camping trip we used to go on all the time back in the day, y'all remember? Oh, we'd have so much fun down there in the <laughs> ravines in the summertime, hunting all them little... We'd be shooting all them deer up. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Huh? Everyone shut up. On the hill. Lantern. Where? On the hill. That way. Oh, yeah, I oh, see them. Shit, I see that car, I see sucker. them. Shh. He done, he's done chasing quiet. them around. Quiet. Nice quiet. He's, he's got a gun. He looks like he means he's got, business. He's got himself a gun. I saw him playing around with them goats up there. Y'all see that? Look like okay. he's trying to chase them goats around. Is that a hair? I'm not sure, buddy. He had a, he had a lantern and a gun. Is that him? I don't, I don't know who it is. Okay. Wait till he gets closer. Right, and let's find a bigger bush, you big cocksucker. You look like a goddamn tree. I'm trying. Look like a tree with a prison tricky. outfit on. I'm, I'm heavy set. It takes a bigger, it takes a He's bigger bush this than way, some boy. people. Where the hell did y'all go? Huh? I'm right here. I'm in the Don't bush. leave me alone, Alice. I'm not, leave, I'm not leaving you alone. I'm just trying to get into this bush. I'm having a hard time. God damn it. Where'd Bob, where'd Bo go? I don't know, where'd Bo? Oh! Bo! The hell was, did you hear that? I heard something. I heard a shot. Is that Bo? Did Bo just get shot? I'm in the bush, you fucking idiot. Oh, okay, he's in a bush, you fucking idiot. We well, all in a nice big bush. Oh yeah, that's a nice bush. Do you see the lantern man? Bo? Bo? Oh, you, did you see somebody? <laughs> Do you see you the lantern? on the hill somewhere. I don't know where you are. Trying to look, guy. God damn. I can't get my guy get down you two keep fucking picking at each other. Do you see him, Alice? I don't stop. <laughs> All I see is branches and leaves. <laughs> Kill them out your goddamn mouth and start using your eyes. <laughs> I'm trying on them berries. I'm trying. Listen, you never know when it might be some wild blueberries. Okay. Hey. Yeah. You look like he was alone. Okay. Yeah. I see we follow me. I got an idea. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, let's follow him. Oh, gross. Ew, it's starting to smell. Where'd Bo go? He went. Oh, he's already crossed the oh, water. Geez, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cold. <laughs> it won't freeze. Oh, God damn it. Okay. I'm quiet. See a lot of movement over there at the camp, boys. 
boss. Boss? The hell? Boys, are you in this bus? Oh shit! Boys! Boys! The hell? Shoot! Boys, are you in this bus? Mess with the wrong bush. Oh, <gasps> throw it back. God dang, you don't let me in the wrong bush. I was hollering for y'all. Oh, well, you should just go on up. Keep up, God damn problem. Y'all go make a move, make some goddamn call. <laughs> Shit, dude. It's so hard to see them. Communication is key. Oh, man, walk right over there. Yeah, that's where he was. Where could he go? Let's see if we can trace his steps. Yeah. Do you know nothing about tracking? I'm just. I'm behind the bush. Bush, bush. Bushes. Oh, these good bushes. I think I see him. I think I see him. Where? I think he's shooting at. He's shooting at nothing. Just shooting for shooting. I thought I heard it come from this way. I think I see the horn. I think I see it too. I see him. I see him. Where? Okay, okay. Oh yeah, I see him too. Yeah. Oh, he's calling his horse over. What's he doing though? What's he shooting at? Nothing. Oh, he might be hunting maybe. He's just... The horse. His horse is coming this way. Where's the horse going? You think, you think we should try to get the pants on him? Bob, Bob, get the rope. Oh, he's got, he's picking up a, he's picking up an animal. Rope is ready. Rope is ready? You boys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's try. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, <laughs> three, okay, two, one, get him, go. Don't you move around, none. Pick him up. Pick okay, him up. I'm gonna pick him up. I'm gonna pick him up. Come here. Ellis, you get him, you big son of a bitch. Alright. Alright, boys, he's coming back. Here. Let's go. Hey, call. Hey, hey, hey. Hello there. Sir, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My. My. I just don't want to drop on, you with all. We're close to the cliff, and I just want to make sure I don't drop you. Ellis, none. don't you drop him on that cliff like you did the last one. What where, the hell? Where, yeah, where's, right. where's, where's, where's Bo going? I don't know. Follow him. Uh, uh, Come, on. Uh, Come on. Come on, Keep your fat ass moving, Alice. Come on. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. I bet you're shitting your britches now, mister. Come on. Okay. Drop him! Come on! Pick him up now! Come on! I'm trying! Okay. Uh, Alright. Uh, Let's put him down here by the ravine. Okay. Right over here. Okay. A lot of places right over here. here. Right down here. Where'd you... 
Ew, it's over here. Oh, right. Come on, Alex. This'll do nothing. I'm gonna put you down nice and easy, okay? Oh, jeez. Oh, well, stupid horse. Uh, hey, go on, get out of here. Get out of here. No, oh, shut up. Look at that. Don't agitate me. I got one to get out of here. Get out. No. There we go. I gave him a little boot right on his snoop. We got hair. Who do we have? What's your name there, fella? Jackson. What you do, Jackson? Jack, Jack, Jack. Uh -huh. Yeah. You having yourself a little hunt or what, huh? <coughs> I was, but then you guys came and dropped me. I got some bad news for you, Jackson. You caught what you did. You, you, you bad done, news. You, you hunt. You, you, you I, went for you, a hunt, but you were the hunted. You, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's you it, was like, yeah. you were like the deer. That you thought that you didn't even were gonna catch. Now you've been caught like a like a fit well deer deer. Well, and you're you, like, you ain't been you caught by saying? just you're nobody. A this you're a fish. This you're a a gummer ball. We're the we're the we're the, we're the, we're the hook and you you got it in your mouth. You took me in your mouth what? with your fish mouth. I got my hook in your fish mouth. Now nah, it's right. Do you know who we are there? What, what was your name again? Jackson. Do you know who we are, Jackson? I mean, I know you're a bunch of ugly sons of bitches, but... <laughs> what? No. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't wrong about you two. Jesus Christ, my ears. What the hell are you doing? Do you doing recognize our oh. faces? Huh? You I recognize us? I have you, but I, I regret seeing you. You regret it. Well, you're you not regret it. regret it all. Maybe okay. you'd be maybe happier will if you did. Maybe you might be, regret it a little bit. You'd be happier if you didn't have any eyeballs. I could pop them out for you, no problem. I, huh? I would. I would appreciate keeping my eyeballs. Okay. Allow me so to introduce ourselves. Um, Bob. That one, the handsome fellow behind you there. That's Bob, and that's our little tiny brother Ellis. That's We're me. Summer boy. Summer boy. boy. We're wanted men. We're wanted men. Wanted. Like it. They You've been in them. hundred dollars on our. You've been head. in them saloons. They've been talking about us, huh? They've huh? been talking, you heard about, them us? talking about us. It's my huh? first first time back after coming back. I got some news for you there. Uh, uh -huh. What's your name? What's your name? Jo jo Johnson. Johnson. J Jackson. 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 Why Why didn't your mom name you something that's easy to remember, like like Dale or Ellis or like Jack or, or yeah, I guess. You know, we're, we're educated, I guess. I don't know. Nonetheless. Nonetheless. Neither here nor there. $600 is a lot of money. A lot of money. A lot of money. And you're going to need it. You know why? Because we're taking what you got. We're taking it. Give me your money. Mr. That's right. Jackson. And well, I right. tell you what, you're gonna give my you're gonna give my brother Bob that raffle too. That's right. You're gonna uh -huh. give that gentleman there right behind right, well, you that lovely bow I'd rod. like to hold it. All That's right, right. Look, you ain't if you, you know if it means I ain't gonna get shot, then sure. Well, if oh, you just cooperate, maybe we'll let you live. We don't wanna kill you. But Mr. I will Short. He will though. Yeah. I will kill him. All right. I'm gonna kill right, him. Right, I'm gonna kill you. I will give you a. I will give you a bum hole where your nose used to be. Yeah. Well, please don't, sir. Yeah, that's right. I, that's please. right. Then you cooperate, there, yeah. man. You I gonna am, you I gonna am. give that rifle up, and then you're gonna go into town. And you're gonna tell your little stories and at money. the saloon. We need his money. You're we gonna tell me everyone what happened. How much money you got? How much money you got? I got five dollars. I will take dollars. Five dollars. That's it. What's wrong with you? Hold on, I'm gonna search. I'm a, I don't know if I believe him. I'm gonna search his pockets. Yeah, let's say. Let's say. Let's take a look at his pockets. What you got there? He might have more money, boys. What do you say? We we could like him bob for some apples there in the river. Oh, Just a little bit. Huh? Well, if he's only got five dollars, maybe you got. Hey, you got any? Uh, so old you. You got any like I don't know like food? We're kind of hungry. We've been out on the run for over a week now. I mean, yeah, I can tell you're skinny as hell, except for this fat ass right here. Hey, I'll have you know. You're going to call me a rat. You are a dirty little I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like I'm 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 sorry. I'm kill you. I'm Where are you laughing? Oh, boy, don't you never talk about me like that. Just because I'm only having to talk about it. He's my brother. I love him. I'm sorry. All right, look, look. All right. 
All right. I'm sorry. All right. Damn right you are. <laughs> I got gotta go. Good, <laughs> I got some. I got some sand in my eye. Just need to rinse it out for a minute. Now look what you did. You dumb shit. Uh -oh. yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look what you did. I'm sorry. Look. I didn't mean it. It don't take you, the I... lock, but you did it. Jerk. Look, I thought you outlaws were stronger. <laughs> we are stronger. <laughs> we're tough. We're dangerous. We're dangerous. We're bad. Bad eggs. We're bad. We're bad. We're bad. Who's bad? I wonder We're what's going to happen. Give All us right. that $5. We're going to slip right. off that bolt action. And then... We're gonna give you a nice little sharp rock or something so you can yeah, untie yeah. that rope there for you. And if you're trying to figure out how to give that five dollars, you're gonna give it to my my brother Bo, whose favorite uh, number is sixty-six. I just did. I just did. All right. Oh, uh, you darn too. Is, is that true? Is that true, Bo? Is that true? He just took it out of my pocket. All right. Well, that's right. Got okay. You, got now you go get and give him that bow deck. Yeah, give yeah, him that bow deck. Yeah. Here, back up, Billy. Yeah, I'm just going to put a little pressure on the back of your head. <laughs> you hand it over. That's right. Come on. I'm just going to sit go on your back and give a little it bit. To him. <laughs> there you go. Sit on his back. Yeah, yeah you know right. going to play leapfrog. Ride him, like ride him like a little horsey. Yeah, we're just going to play leapfrog a little bit. Yeah. Here, take Ooh. it off my back. Jesus. You're... Oh, oh yeah, actually, Go on, it. take it off. I, I gave him the bow. Oh yeah, I got the bow. Well, no, the rifle. No, the we rifle. didn't. Think, this we didn't want this that was that was. Oh, that was, you know, you that was that awfully kind of you. Your life, your life is actually being determined by the fact that we got guns pointed at you. Hey, Tell you what, how about this? Hold on, hold on. How about this? Hold on, hold on. Ooh. Look, uh, hold on, Bob. Why don't you give him the bow back? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, give him the you ball. don't, you don't need it no more. I already you, can got... keep, you can keep the rifle. Just yeah. give him back the, oh, give him back right. the bow. Give him Fine. back the bow. Uh, come on now. What is it? It's B. That's right. There we go. See? Uh, bow. There now. Give. See? Now you got yourself. Now you got yourself uh, some way that you can hunt and make yourself some money so that you can get another rifle, okay? It ain't gonna help me against a bear. Well, then just don't get eaten by a bear. Yeah, then just avoid bears. Just, just don't go bears. near berry bushes just and stuff. A, yeah, just stay away from berry bushes. Quick, 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 quick climbing all up, them streams. Quick if going up them trees. Run, that means quick, bears. Yeah, quick going into caves looking for bears then. Quick boy. covering yourself in honey. Quick covering yourself in honey, silly Billy. What's wrong with you? Okay. I think we've made our point. Now, what's going Do you going? remember our name now? Yeah. What, what is, is it? it? Shitters. That's all I heard. You boys step back. I'm going to teach him a lesson. The government boys. Wait, wait, wait. No, oh, no, no. no, no, no. no Ellis going to have his way you with stay you. Away. Pull I'm your drawers right. down, Ellis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ellis. Give him the chocolate declare. Get your pants down. <laughs> Hold on here. I can't. No man has ever survived <laughs> such an act. <laughs> you remember our name now? What's our name? The Gummer Boys. Oh. The yeah, that's yeah. right. The that's right. Boy. <laughs> boy. So this uh -huh. is what's going to happen there. Uh, God damn it. Johnson. Johnson. This is what's going to... Jackson. John Fuck. Boy. I'm calling you Johnson. This is what's gonna happen, Johnson. I'm gonna give you rock. You're gonna get out of those ropes after the count of a hundred. And then you're gonna head to town. You let everyone know the Gummer Boys are back. You're gonna let them know. Let them and know. don't you think about trying to get out of them before you count to a hundred, because I'm gonna stay in a bush and All watch right, you. Look, and if count. I see you wriggle out, I'm gonna have to give you a mouth where your nose used to be, okay? Yeah, right, you better count right. to 100, not 88. Not 88, not uh, 110, not 6, and not, but 100. Yeah. Uh, I'll see if I can count that high, but, uh, all right. Oh, you're going to see all right. Good. You're going to see. All right. It was a pleasant day, Johnson. We'll be seeing you around. Real soon. <laughs> Guys in the gym. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>
One time, suddenly no one forgets. <laughs> yeah, well, just last week tried to jump off that stupid little rock, done landed on your ankle and done broke them. <laughs> Passed out. We had to carry you in town. Your fat ass. What do you think we do? What do you think we do if there was trains coming? Well, we'd make your fat ass sit right on the track and it'd stop that dang thing. <laughs> Shotgun like this, it's not dangerous at all, is it? Yeah, it's probably all right. I got me a new rifle. I got me a rifle today. Oh, I don't know if you should be shaking it so hard. Ah, uh, yes, I can. I can swing it as much as I please. That's right. It's brand new. I suppose so. What's the point of a new rifle if you can't swing it around none? If That's you right. can't dance with it, yeah, why well, have it? <laughs> Horses here, yeah. We can get ourselves a nice pony. We can get around a little faster. Oh, that's true. I got five dollars. You had like thirty something. And uh, Bob, how much you have, Bob? I got six. Shoot, we might be having enough to get two scrawnies. That's pretty good. It's oh. a rattlesnake. It's a rattlesnake. Oh, no. Bob, you're going to have to suck the poison oh, out. You're going to have to suck it out. You're going to have to suck it out. Get your gum. 
Get your gums in there. Take them pants off. Let me suck take it. Take your pants off. You're gonna oh, take, the pants. Okay. take your pants off. I'll take your suck pants it. off. He's gotta suck it. Okay, I'm gonna start sucking. Hold I'll, on now. I'll hold. I'll hold the okay. snake, and he. I'll hold the snake, and he can suck it. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Here I go. I'm applying okay, the gums to it. Here. Okay. I'm gonna latch uh -huh. on. There you go. Yep. All right. Here we go with that. Oh look, who it is. Uh -oh. Okay, you can quit sucking. It's done. Okay. <laughs> We should probably get out of here. That was the same. That was the same that was feller. Same that was the same man. Uh huh. No one saw that, did they? I think he might have seen you he sucking. He might have seen you sucking on his. Might well, seen I was, me holding I the was snake saving while he was his life. On. That's all. Yeah, of course he was. Well, then, like he's gonna know that. He ain't going. All, all he no, knows that there was. we inbreeding. <laughs> well, which way did he go? There ain't nothing wrong with way. just handling Come here, snake Come here, you see nothing. Where the hell did he go? I wasn't doing nothing out here. I was trying to save my Bob, brother's life. Bob, it's okay, Bob. I'm sorry. He ain't gonna think nothing about it. No way. Where did he go? Where did he go? Don't worry about where he went. Oh, hey, no. Come Whoa. on now, Bob. Where did he go? I don't worry about where he went. Doesn't matter if he sees a couple brothers mucking around I with each other. I wanted to snakes. run into town and let them know that Gummer Boys is dangerous. Not they out there sucking on each other. <laughs> He's I got nothing part. wrong with He's that. I just want to set the record straight, fella. All right, I mean. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this snake. I'm going to throw it off this cliff. Careful. Don't bite my brother. Never again. Send him back to hell, yeah. Alice. There. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. There's no way you can get us in a wagon, though, huh? Oh, shit. No bounty, yeah, he's not gonna get any money. Scroll up on your mouse while aiming. Oh shit, yeah, I didn't know you could do that. It's so hard to aim without the cursor, man. But the shotgun? You don't need a cursor Mister, for that. Look at my look at look at Bob's fucking gut, dude. Got planted with a fucking fully loaded shotgun, Come on, dude. By myself. There's one over by the wagon, uh, and there's uh, here's the other two. Look what we got here. Yeah, look what we got here. They tried robbing me on the side of the road. They don't know who they're messing with. Yeah, I don't know who you are, but... Mister, I'm, guess... I'm really well known across New Austin. You, you, you hear the stories new enough. All right. All right, look. Uh, mind if I roughen this guy up a bit right here? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he kicked my fucking horse. Yeah, he shot my horse. Hey, hey, we need your help. Oh no, looks like that's it. Come here, hey. mister. It might be some good money for you. Wow, what happened? Uh, these is the boys that the uh, government's been looking for. You mind if I throw this one on the back of your uh, the back of your horse there, and we can go to Valentine? Going to the uh, big gum sure, in the uh, sky. This one, uh... Hey, mister, you got your horse? Pick that fella up and let's bring him to Valentine. What happened? I, I thought it was an NPC because it was we no... Uh, these boys are wanted. It was just a shot they, of... His, uh, his horse was dead. Jessica. The horse was dead, yeah, and then uh, that was all it took, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, they're getting Bulls bulls a lot like that. Like, well, once the horse was dead... Just managed to catch all that was it. Just hanging out here drunk oh, something. no. I think no, I think even uh, Classy and Milton door, thought hunting. that he was an NPC because uh, he wasn't talking at all. Out and to but I mean, there is no talking right, needed when there's gunshots. But his, his horse was dead, and then it was just like out for blood. And the way he took off, it was so like NPC like. I thought it was an NPC who was going, "Oh no, I'm so scared!" and then ran off. I guess what they was doing was hiding behind a tree waiting for But they're not going to, yeah, they're not going to get money. But I mean, this guy, does he need money? He's got like three golden guns, five pistols, ten rifles, two shotguns. I just want my wares back from these guys. I don't know. I don't care about Well, I guess we can at least wait and see what the sheriffs have to say about the Gunner Boys, huh? Put your mask down. I know the law over there don't like it when someone's wearing a mask. Think it still works? Yeah. I mean, that, now, I, I was waiting. I was like, any second uh, now, we're gonna get, we're gonna get done in. Do we're all, some bad so. eggs. Yeah, but we need 
How does this play out? I guess we wait and see if they could bring him to the sheriffs and if the sheriffs can like identify him. We just need uh once we I guess that's like the only missing piece. Doctor's office. I need some fella one of you fellas to call for some law. I'll do it. Yeah, shoot. Well, shooting on sight. I mean, it's a. Uh, it was a back and forth thing, right? If you just want to carry that body for me, it's okay. So his horse got shot. Then he was probably just like, "Oh, this is all out war." Yeah, they know about the money. But it was alive. It was alive. Bam, So, I guess if you were in town and you were a tough bounty dude, the, the thing to do would be, like, how we've been tying up people. Probably let us, oh, well, letting us tie you up is not something a lot of people yeah. are willing to do. But to find our whereabouts, maybe get robbed, and then go into town, find your friends, go, I know where they are. Because then you can come in and be like, I saw them, they were here, they took my pistol, they took my thing. Uh, round up your buddies and uh, outnumber us. But let's see how it plays out getting brought in That's dead. <laughs> Go ahead and drop them off inside. But yeah, it's also, law, it's also bragging there, rights, there's too. There's no law here right now. I tried well, earlier. Well, these is the three uh, the three boys that escaped from Siska. I call fucking Gummer Boys or some shit. Some stupid dumbass name. Yeah, I called them the shooters. Yeah, drop them in the back here. By the way, for all you folk to know, my name is Sean McCree. Sean McCree, nice to meet you. Yes, my name is Sean McCree. I think this is the son of a bitch that took my guns. <laughs> well, it's one guy yeah, that we I'll leave you folks too, but I don't really want to get more involved really than just helping them to the doctor's oh, office. Yeah, hot damn. Hello? So this one... Let me check this one right quick. Ah, oh, shit. Hi, brother. Keep it down over there. Insane bragging rights. Took down all three of them by yourself. Uh, this one... That shit, I can't feel... I'm dead. Lesson. Yeah. Well, I guess the, the, the lesson learned. Shotgun. I have no idea. Shotgun is OP. I think also I didn't make my guy eat anything. If you want, you can go call for <laughs> some. He was starving to death. I'll do that right now. It didn't myself. take much to take me out. God damn! Look at that bullet wound right in this fucking gut, man. He got a full shell right there in the gut. Yeah, with the shotgun boys, you don't need a crosshair. You got the wrong man, boys. Yeah, we wrong did. Wrong man. Now he's got a cool story, whoever that guy is, right? <laughs> but he doesn't get the money. That's, a, that's So what a about guy. you at the end here? Let's check you. Oh, no. I'm going to the big gum in the sky. <laughs> Looks like that's all. That's all she wrote. The notorious Gummer Boys. I just hope that someday I could make it. I had hopes and dreams of making it to St. D9. Or I would be able to find someone to record my song. I could see it now. I can see it now. Oh, what's that sound out here coming down that old dusty mountain road? Must be them gummer boys. Yeah, that's what I've been talking about. Haven't you heard? They ain't got no teeth in their mouth. Don't you talk that shit or they will burn your house down. I hear them no tooth gummers coming down that trail. Them no good gummers lock them away in jail. And if you happen to hear that gumming sound popping on by, well, then it's too late for you, cowboy. Kiss your ass goodbye. I can hear them. Clapping. Cheering for me, cross. 
across the world. My dream. Jesus. <laughs> uh, I knew I was a better shot than I was with my hands. Mm. I'm not really a good uh, fist fighter. I'm better with my, my you know, my guns. Yeah. <laughs> and this, uh, this goes to show. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go in the saloon. See if I can look at his catch face. anybody. In. Look at that can, face. Uh, watch over these guys. For me? Yeah, I'll watch him over. Right. I want to see if I can get my shit back from this sure. guy. See it's under him though. He's dead, dead and cold to the touch. Starting to get that toughness. Starting to get all stiff. Oh, these characters were we so fun. So fun. The entire time. So fun. Ugh. Oh, this was a blast, man. The Gummer Boys. God damn. Bob, last thing he did was suck his brother off. <laughs> he sucked the venom out of his brother's leg, his upper thigh, and he was fucking dead. What a poor, glued on. shitty life this guy lived. I can why why can I never see slash me's? I feel like I never get to see people slash me. Jeremiah Curl debut. It's gonna happen real soon. Uh, me and Damon were talking about some really cool plans for them. What, I feel like you're gonna run off? No, this is perma. This is it. The, we, we got shot. I don't want a perma. I got gun shot. I got a fucking whole shotgun shot, buckshot to the belly. And then we escaped and we're on the run again. Nah, I was like waiting for us to die, but I didn't know it'd be within an hour of today's stream. That was pretty fast. But I mean, we were near um, Blackwater or uh, Valentine or whatever. Yeah, I was, uh, I was actually, uh, I was actually just who's, hunting. Who's I was talking? going down the road, and they pulled out to me, and, uh, well, they started shooting at me. They put my horse down. I had to jump off my wagon. Who's he talking and, to? And, uh, hid, hid behind cover and put all three of them down. Oh. <laughs> you dumb motherfuckers. Uh, well, that's them, yeah. <laughs> Look at them. Yep, this is definitely yeah. them. Look at the clothes and <laughs> the facials. Holy shit. Yep. Damn. Oh, that's crazy. That's you got quite a route now. Who that dare my car? Well, go oh, now, young blood. Think of the bragging rights, chat. I heard you did. Major brag. These boys are down and out. Well, do you need? Does anyone need medical assistance? Just laughing at us. No, no, we didn't. We didn't touch them at all. Literally, all three of them have no pulse. They're all just dead. I don't, I don't know, know if I'm gonna be able to get my gun dead people. Oh, well, well I mean, think of the bragging rights. You bring the whole goddamn server in to see what you did. The whole goddamn town. Think of the, the, the bats he's gonna get the, at the whorehouse. As far as I know. Because if there wasn't necessarily a warrant out for saying dead or alive, and you know, you've went out and shot him. Then uh, well, no, they Do they know they about the perma? Yeah, well, yeah, I. Oh right. I well, slash me. Yeah. I slash me that uh, I'm dead. I am absolutely dead. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Classy and Milton are on the same page. Right. We're all just you fucking seem dead. To be in the clear, but these three gentlemen may still be in. Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, they're all in terrible condition. I think. Uh, I think I gave them a personal invitation to meet Jesus. Are they brothers? Because they all lying in the exact same pattern. <laughs> what happened? That's why I don't <laughs> trust that. Well, we we messed with the wrong so one. Together, apparently, together, right? we uh, <laughs> it looks like we shot the guy's horse, and he is a fellow who is not meant to be messed with. He's got every weapon on his back that the game has to offer, <laughs> and he came out with an RPG machine gun and just laid us out yeah, like it was nothing. One at a time. <laughs> we didn't stand a chance. A one-man army. We we messed with the wrong one, basically. Yeah, we messed with a super soldier. He came out and fucking top score kill death ratio. Red Dead Online. To our asses. We're out there going, sucking venom out of each other's wounds, and he's just boom. 
first. Boom! <laughs> Got a fucking buckshot to the chest, boy. And we were, we took, a, he took, he ran away, took us out one by one. It was pretty smart on his part. I mean, it, it, there was no way he knew we were the Gummer boys and had a bounty for being alive. Probably in the moment, you know, you see your horse get shot. It's like, oh fuck, people are shooting at me, not even talking to me. Uh, not even role-playing it. They're just shot my fucking horse and they're taking shots at me. So it was all-out war. I guess if it was on us... I know we shouted and told them to stop, but I mean... He just rode off, so we just started blasting his, his horse and stuff. But I wonder if he's going to get paid. No, it was specific for being a live bounty. Oh, God, I got to do the me thing again? Is dead. I'll just put dead. Definitely can't feel anything on this guy. The Pokemon. Gummer Boys Junior. Yeah, right. Yeah. Let's check this. Let's check this one. Is he pregnant? Is he pregnant? He said about Ellis. Yes, the first man to ever be pregnant. No, this, this, this there they are, boys. Oh, their faces were so... That was my favorite part was designing these guys. That fucking top lip. Little duck bill. So if you didn't get taken in alive, you get escaped again? I I knew... I had a... I was pretty set on, we are going to get shot. We are going to mess with the wrong one. It's such a hard stretch to do something like this and actually go the route of being taken in alive, you know? Because, I mean, we got guns. You see the people on the server, they got every gun in the game. It's uh, so quick to turn into Red Dead Online. Milton's pissed? Well, <clears throat> it was a... It was a... It, man, when it goes down, you don't know what the... You just go with the flow, man, and that's just how it went. I don't know... It, I feel like Milton was in the same boat as me where I I swear that guy was an NPC because we had guns drawn and we're like stop right there and he just kept going if I were to guess I'd say that's probably what Milton was thinking that's that's what I was thinking I was like he's a NPC and then I guess we shot his horse and then he got off and it was it was gun time because uh, there were no words exchanged on that after that. There's gunshots. That's all it takes Which is fine. I mean that warrants a, a gunfight, right? He did what he had to do and he played it smart and he he came out on top the guy had a fucking Shotgun is fucking just laying us out one by one That's all she wrote there, there ain't nothing you can do for him. Mm -mm. I, I Toss us in the back, bury us. No, 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 that's, that's also a sin. I don't know if you're a religious man, but that's also a sin. It ain't a sin to shoot fat there, motherfuckers. Where they yeah, say that in the Bible. I can assure you is to desecrate your corpse. So it's tricky, right? Because, like, this Milton hit him three times. Well, here's the thing, too. If you're uh, fully loaded in this game, um, not only just having every weapon, but if you also, I think it's a mushroom you can eat. You can eat like a mushroom that you can go grab up north somewhere. And it gives you like four times health bar. So, plus I think all of us were starving, right? I, I don't think any of us were being smart about keeping our hit points up. I think, I think Bob was only at a quarter of his life left. So even if we did nail the guy, he probably was well suited. He looked like he was in a hurry too. He's probably on his way to go start some shit. Tonics and shit. Yeah. We were not in a state to fight. I think we were in a state to stop people and and try to hold them up. But I think once your once his horse was shot, I think that was it. So, I don't know. It's like at the same time, could you argue three people aiming guns at you telling you to stop should make you stop and put your hands up? I mean, you could also just say, nah, fuck it, I'm gonna grab my, my shotgun and Rambo these three idiots. Yeah, like that one time Milton used his shroom. That shit was so funny, though, dude. Holy fuck. I like how Milton did that. He did that for story purposes. He was the giant native dude. And he, like, took the mushroom just so we could have the mud wrestling. 
and he let the guy wail on him. He let the guy do 20 punches to his face, and he counted them off. And he's like, okay, you hit me 20 times. Time for me to punch you. And he fucking knocks the guy out in one punch. That was fucking awesome. I really like the RP you guys did. Dude, this was so fun. This was so fun. And, you know, we don't, we could, we could switch it up and we could do other bandits. It's kind of fun to, like, wake up the server with this kind of shit, you know? Have a bounty going on. Have a little live event going through the server. Break the monotony of just, you know, going to the saloon and telling stories. Going to the campfire and telling stories. Banditry is fun to watch. Yes, dude. I want to do something with a train. I think that'd be so cool. I don't think many people fuck with the trains. I still have yet to see one train. Do I get the bounty? Going around asking for it. What's up, Pops? Snake oil salesman? I'd like to do that, too. I told Classy, that'd be so fun to do Shalom Homes, but... Not Shalom Homes, but that dynamic and like sell something, whether that's um, whether that's snake oil or something. Looks like that's all she wrote. What song is this? Play some moody music here. I wonder if they'll take us out back and throw us in a ditch. No. Just gonna probably let our bodies get identified. Johnny jumping. Johnny jumper. Johnny jumper. Now what? Lay there forever? Yeah, we're dead. Um, maybe I'll call it here, and then we'll probably do a regular stream later. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna see what the see what the fellas are thinking, but. Yeah, we could just come back later tonight and do our uh, regular VR uh, streaming. Maybe more Skyrim or something. Body starting to decay. Uh, watch party. Uh, we'll save that for Friday. I know we got a ton of stuff we wanted to watch. They can't get the money, so it doesn't matter what they do. Yeah. If you, I was saying earlier, if you really wanted the money, I guess the the pro way of it coming after us would be find our whereabouts, whether that's you spot us from far away, or we actually hold you up and start all over your body. Then you go into town and say, hey boys, I found them, there's three of them, grab your friends and come after us. Jer uh, Jeremiah Curl's coming. Maybe next week we could do Jeremiah Curl. We can uh, debut that. I still have to think of like some key like story motivation things for him but I got him designed he looks really cool I'm stoked on him get Milton and Classy on the discord I think uh I think they're talking already I want to see what they're saying here I also thought I know we already did them I mean, we probably did all you could do but yeah Peter Popoff in this world would be cool huh the reverend the scam the snake oil reverend <laughs> Jeremiah, Jeremiah will be a badass. Django Unchained type thing. I, I think so. I think me and Damon of a duo, we're going to run like that. They'll be the Django's. Curl Unchained. Yeah, I don't want him to be, he won't be a hobo in this world. He's going to be up there. He's going to be a, a functional bounty hunter badass. Uh, deputy for hire kind of dude. Pop off selling his holy water. <laughs> oh, here comes Colonel Sanders. What's Colonel Sanders gonna do? I say, I say, here yeah, this uh, young boy deserves a. Uh, we're gonna bury this cocksucker in the backyard. I say. Oh, Colonel Sanders, take me away. Where's he taking us? Oh. Gonna throw our dead bodies in a cell? <laughs> uh, we might even brainstorm a new group right now. I don't know. Let me see. 
I'll ask if they're calling calling their streams. Let's see if they're calling their streams. I don't know. Are, are they staying on or? Oh, got my boys. Why throw your bodies in the cell? Oh, damn. Right on the bed. Nice. Nice camera. Do we each get a cell to die in? Damn. Back to what the Gummer boys know best. Being locked up. <laughs> Just holding on to that gut, dude. Look at this idiot. Destroyed. I like the red lights in here. It's kind of cool. Travel circus freak. Oh, dude, that would be really fun, too. And chat. I'm telling you. I want it. I want it so bad. So bad. To be the little person in the story. There's the little magician guy. How fun to be a little person and walk around and talk like this. I saw someone... I think you have to be an admin to have access to that character. I saw someone was already doing it, and they did the hot air balloon role play, uh, little person. But man, when the other servers come out, if they give access to that player model, you know I'm going all out. I would love to be the little person. It'd be so cool to be the little person and have like Damon be the the giant. The there's the the circus people that are and they're story NPCs in the game. Right now on this server, all we have access to is the create a character kind of customize your chin size type of thing. But uh, there are story NPCs that are really unique looking. How dude? It'd be so fun to be the little person, man. And talk like it'd be fun to do our 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 little voice. Hey, I'm here. But then you gotta add that, that twang. Hey, come on now, we gotta go, we gotta go on down the road, boys. Help, down here. Come on, it, dad blame it. Y'all are going to the death. Oh, that would be so fun. Have a little horse, yeah, get the little donkey. <laughs> oh, it'd be so fun. Uh, let me see what these guys are saying here. Uh, looks like the guys want to shop something new. I'm down to shop something new. Um, I don't know if we want to stream it or do it offline. But yeah, we'll, we'll definitely shop something new and the server's going to restart. <laughs> Damn, dude, that gunshot! Right I want to see how uh, I want to see how classy and Milton got laid out. I feel like I was just about to start. <laughs> as funny as I felt, like we were just about to start having a one v one. Before you knew, I was fucking dead. I think this guy had a lot of life on him, though. I think he was fully loaded on tonics and bullshit, you know? Because there's no way... I think I, I might have hit him at least once. And if I hit him once, I'm confident and classy and Milton to hit him at least one other time as well. Wouldn't that do something, huh? Wouldn't that bring him down? And the strafing? Yeah. He's hitting that. He's, he's got them Red Dead Online skills. I know, I know Milton is pretty, uh, pretty good at the, the gun shooting online stuff. But, I mean, your, your horse gets shot at. That's what anyone would do. Which one of you survived? Oh, that would be cool. I had that idea too. Like, what if I die and then like, and then I would just, the story would continue with the other boys, you know?
Hmm. Wonder if Milton's still seeing red. Well, I mean, it's uh, my my thinking is with this stuff. Whenever we lose or something, I'm just like thinking. I mean, we can always just start up something else. So it's not a big deal, but. You think about the guy who won, it's kind of cool because now he has something adding to his story. Although his, that guy's just bragging rights, huh? That guy's big dick on the, <laughs> that guy's big dick in town. Oh, you're the, you're that big, you're that big mother Hubbard that done took them gummer boys belly up. Didn't even give a fuck about the bounty. He just shot them all three dead. ending didn't feel good it's better if they're i mean it's it'd be way better if there was dialogue exchanged huh i would much rather have had uh any last words i didn't know classy milton were dead i thought they were trying to come around the backside. like even if i had a hard confirmation that them two were dead i would have put my hands up or that guy could have role played like, "Hey, you over there! I killed your two brothers. I'll put a bullet in your belly. You can put your fucking hands up." He would have got more money. He would have got some money, you know. That's the thing with the gun shit. You really gotta talk. You really gotta take cover and talk. And you three in there. This is sheriffs. We're giving you to the count of ten. Come on out with your. You know you got to do a lot of that. I wish I, if I had known they were dead, but that's something I could have done. Is I could have stood there with my hands up, but maybe I just would have got shot in the face, anyways. But yeah, I mean, coming in guns blazing is uh, it's an instinct. A lot of, I mean, the game's got guns. Make your character big, bad, tough cowboy guy. It's gonna be hard not to want to pull that trigger. But we'll shop something else. We can do another set of bandits. Needs to be a Rip Gummer Boy shirt. <laughs> Jesus, will they declare you dead already? I, I mean, that's that's all there is to it. I wish I could see. Is he dead? <laughs> this one looks dead. I did slash me uh, dead and cold to the touch a few times now. So, they know I'm dead. Live fast and die young. Looks like the Gummer Boys done popped their last gun. I swear that was an NPC, though, man. Chat, did you guys think he was an NPC? I swear to God, I thought he was. Oh, I'm watching Classy's perspective here. Can I pop this up? What did Classy see? I'm really curious. Let off a warning shot. Said stop a bunch of times. Running for the hills, boys. He was running for the hills. Holy shit. Look at him go. He fucking was out of there, dude. He's like, oh, it's fucking Red Dead Online time, boys. Let's go. Free stop. Dude, this guy took off. Holy shit. I got to see what happened to Classy. Let's see this. I got to give this. Holy fuck, man. He hit the ground and he hit for cover. It was time to fucking go. He's like, fuck all this shit. You boys going to fuck with me. You boys are dead. Let me see what happened. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. He went for fucking. He, <laughs> he ran over to fucking D dust, dude. Get him, boy! He ran over to a fucking Counter-Strike level. Oh, yeah! 
dude. They, they, when I came in here, I was like, oh shit, this is like fucking Counter Strike level over here, dude. They have classy was loaded. Let off so many shots. I feel like I let unloaded my whole gun too. But goddamn, he lit him up from far away. Lit him up point blank. This guy turns around. Oh, what's that? You're shooting at me? Goosh! Right in the fucking forehead. Look at this little snake in the grass. Okay, the two brothers coming up. That looks like a shot. I mean, is that not dead center? Is over the shoulder not dead center in this game? Or is there a lot of recoil? I don't even fucking know. I haven't done a lot of shooting. Damn, one shot. Boom. Ah! <laughs> ah, damn, classy. Jesus Christ. Classy got lit up. Do you guys have Milton's clip? What the shit? Damn, he got... Oh, shit. It's like Milton got laid out right after that. Right. Holy shit, man. <laughs> Damn, that death gurgle was good. Yeah, if you guys have Milton's POV, I'd like to see that clip too. God damn, man. Laid us out. Holy shit. Fucking dead as shit. Oh my god. <laughs> he hit the pole? Yeah. Maybe, huh? Classy was low because of the snake bite. Oh yeah, let me see. What was Classy's HP there, huh? I know mine was low. I didn't need anything. Oh yeah, Classy's got the, the low low. God damn. Boom, 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 boom. Do other players have crosshairs? No one has crosshairs. Okay, thank you, straight hype. Let's see. This is, uh, this is Milton's POV. Let's see this one here. Damn, Milton shot the horse. Milton's good at uh, aiming in Red Dead. I shot, I shot his horse. You stop right there. You stop. Hey, you stop. Oh, he, sh he turned around and sh did he turn around and shoot Milton here? Son of a bitch! Did Milton get shot right there? Right here. You stop right there, you son hey, you son of a God damn! He shot him through a fucking bush, a football field away, fucking 360 right off the horse? Holy fuck, this guy is why is he playing this? He needs to get on Red Dead Online. Look at this. Through the bush. Boom. Christ. Right there, you son. Hey, you son of a bitch. Wow. That is. I can't even believe this clip. Stop. Off the horse. 360 no scope. Through the bush. Pops him. Runs. Zigzagging, dude. Holy shit. I like Milton's Humpty Dumpty music too. Sounds like you need to change the life. That's one of the shots. Okay. <laughs> the Humpty Dumpty music, it's so good. NPC, definitely not. <laughs> oh, he sees his brother, comes out. Oh, did he get blindsided? Oh, he got him. Oh, and then he hit the pole. Really? Dumb. Really? <laughs> Like oh man, you can hear his heart. <laughs> he's fucking. This guy's feeling it, man. This guy's MLG. Armed people. Man, where are we dropping, three boys? Armed people. <laughs> Holy shit! 
Yeah, he was... Yeah, this guy was sweating it out. I would be too. Fuck. Good on him. God damn, oh, that shot from the bush. Right that right is right impressive as fuck. You stop right Man, he felt that, huh? He was feeling that one. Holy shit. Milton hit him once. I can't tell if Classy hit him in his clip. And I don't even know what the fuck happened with me. I'm, I'm fucking terrible at aiming in this game. Are tonics on the server? There is a uh, mushroom thing. I remember Milton said you could eat and it gives you like literally four times HP. Let me see if these guys are responding on Discord. Just reading here what's going on. Oh, man. insane dude holy shit um thank you guys for the subs tits and bits i see you there coming on in two tacos 99 cents sounds like a deal sounds like a steal uh thank you for that prime brand new too uh thank you dude uh hemoglobin goski gator spagooter yo sean legendary what's going on man Good to see you early in the morning. Akersa. Mac Ruse. Thank you guys. Uh, Brooklyn Boy. Bong Baron. What's up, dude? Usagi. Zool. Lurker Maker. Thank you guys again. So much. Uh, love seeing you guys in the early morning. Early in the morning. Um, living simulation. Living simulation. Thank you for the brand, brand, brand new. Reboot incoming. Yeah. Well, how long? Well, that was only an hour we did. Let's see if they want to shop. You boys want to... Let me talk to these guys real quick, guys. Yeah, take your time with it. But when it comes down to it, like I said, thank you for at least doing the state of justice. Looking to have you still with us. Hope to see more good work from you soon. Hale, you should consider even trying out bounty hunting. Maybe whatever we have things circle around. I might but yes. consider it. Damn. Yeah. Alive. <laughs> he see now his story is he's gotta be the notorious goddamn badass that is unstoppable. Took down three men with his bare hands. Sir! Hello. Coming in. My boy. And I'll get away from Eight hertz. Windows. When IP a whole year, thank you for your Jabutiversary. Thank you for rocking with us for a whole year. Eight hertz. Gummer girls, <laughs> yes. <laughs> we heard our brothers got gun taken out. We want revenge. Go to the saloon. Shut your mouth, Anna. Go to the saloon now. So it's got to shut your mouth, woman. Back in the goddamn floor. Play as the wives. What's going on? So, detective, you just kind of fill me in on the gaps of exactly what happened with this gentleman, with the other gentleman here. No. All right. So this is a long story. I think we should hop on a call. Talk it out a little bit. I want to talk to. I want to see what they have to say about the Gummer Boys and how it went down. That's the end of the Gummer Boys. Laid out, boys. Well, let me uh, fix that there for you. D and D on Thursday. Don't forget. Let's see if I can hop into Discord. Can't wait for a D and D, dude. It's gonna clap. It's gonna be claptastic. I'm telling you, something different.
see. Let me uh, get my Discord fixed here. Let's see if these boys will hop on into a call. You can tell by the, the poster, yeah. Clacky. Is that the class man? Classy, can you hear me? Who's going to be the uh, DM? It'll be, um... Why can I not hear this guy? Class, you there? Um, uh, the DM will be Tech Smith. Can you hear me? Howdy, howdy, boy. Howdy, howdy, pilgrim. You, you, you. You, you, dude. That was so fun, man. Oh, fucking Gomer boys got laid out. I watched it from your guys' end. He destroyed us. <laughs> yeah. Destroyed. Where's Milton? Uh, I don't know. I did, did the call. Let's see if he'll hop in. Let me uh back out of here. Yeah, dude, the way he was that guy was moving, I swear he was an NPC. Next thing I know he's fucking gone. Oh, I knew it was a player the minute I saw that cart and the way he was dressed, I was like, that's a player. Instantly knew. And the way we ran, we all kind of, I think we're all thinking to flank, so we're all split up. And if I knew you guys were dead, I would have come out with like my hands up go, it don't, okay, you can do it. I, I got my hands up. <laughs> Before I knew it, it was just, boom, <laughs> buckshot to the belly. I was out. Uh, it was so fun though, dude. I love the dynamic. Uh, you guys, it we, could, was, we could cook it up was, something new now. I, I wish it went longer. Like, mm -hmm. I just wish, um, I wish we could have had at least four episodes, but obviously, you know, RP goes where RP goes, right? But yeah. uh, I was really hoping to see some escalation, like beyond belief, and have like, uh, you know, the dream goal. Obviously, yeah. you know, wherever it goes, it goes. But my 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 end goal was hopefully we're held out in like some like fort or whatever, and like a bunch of sheriffs and deputized civilians are trying to like you know take us down. That that's the goal. You know what I mean? Where we yeah. give up, put our hands up. Cause I don't want to shoot anyone. I don't. I didn't want to fucking. I don't want to kill a single person, right? I just wanted to. I want the back and forth. Either we're holding someone up, or we get held up, and then we're done. You know what I mean? That's, yeah. That was the dream. Yeah. I mean. Hence, I mean, when that's why we did that, though, right? Hence why we had the rule in of where if we get shot, we're dead. So that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we, we want to re reward the interaction. We don't want to reward the shooting. You know what I mean? We yeah. don't want to reward death. Yeah. Which was the concept in the first place. So I just thought, thought, it, was, I thought it was an NPC. Yo, Milky. Howdy. How's it going, what boys? Up? How's it going? It's going good, good, sir. Going good. <sighs> Disappointed, yeah, yeah. man. Disappointed. Well, you know, yeah, it, yeah, it is yeah. what it is. I thought it was an NPC. I watched you guys from your angles. Oh, I, you guys yeah. looked like you guys thought I, the same thing. No, no, I knew that it was a player. The only oh, yeah, reason that too. I knew that it was a player was because he was sprinting, and NPCs don't sprint like that unless. Oh no! Been like when he and... was on the horse, and we were like, "Stop! Stop! Stop!" I thought it was just an NPC, oh. but then it, I thought it went haywire, oh. and I was like, "Oh shit! The NPC is going to oh, kill no. us." That's what I thought. No, no, unfortunately, that's probably just because I have like 500 hours in Red Dead. I knew yeah. that he wasn't an NPC, but I was not anticipating fucking McCree from Overwatch to. <laughs> <laughs> Jump off his fucking horse and 360 no scope it's us. High noon. <laughs> it's high noon. Dude, literally, <laughs> Milton, on your angle, he the second he gets off that horse, he hits you like through a bush a football field away. So I how was, many oh, bullets yeah. did he take? How many so bullets did I, he take? I shot him at least three times with a shotgun, <laughs> and at least two of those were center of mass. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, which tells someone, me uh, yeah. somewhat someone conveniently had some ginseng or some mushrooms or some sort of core booster of some kind because that tonic. just out hunting get some core boosters going. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> With a wagon it's built big enough for three corpses, conveniently enough. <laughs> Yeah. My, uh, with bad. me, it was just a str it was a lot of nutty strafing, rapid strafing, and that was over. <laughs> yeah. That one buck yep. shot to the belly will do it. Yeah, exactly. I got hit one time. 
I got I got shot one time and that was it. I think we we're all pretty low life. Yeah, going. I got pumped once too. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I think I was one hit kill. I think I didn't even eat it. Yeah, yeah. I was the one hit kill too. It was Those were like headshots, hit dead over. on headshots. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Very good. Very good aim. Very good aim. Yeah. And I like afterwards, like, oh, you boys are fucking with the wrong one. Like, everyone knows that I'm so good with a rifle. And I felt yeah. like saying, holy like, shit, I was, Danny. I was, Oakley, telling like, Chet, <laughs> I was telling that too. I was like telling that to you. Like, okay, you know, you can argue this and straw pull. You know what I mean? Like, is it, is it, um, no value of life and stuff like that. I don't give two flying fucks. If someone yeah. wants to play the bad guy or the tough man who can take on anyone, yeah. but if you're going to do that, if you're going to strong arm like that, you need to be ready to lay that character down when you lose in that yeah. situation. Yeah. I don't right? it's, it's called consequences yeah. for your action. You want to be the big tough man who can gun everyone down in the West? If you get shot down, you lay that fucker down permanently. That's, that's what's that's what's tricky to make. about yeah. like him and his character moving forward. He has to be big dick in town. He's the guy who took three yeah. people down with, and yeah. now he's got to live he's, up to that. But no money, he's, he's not a big here. dick. No, no six hundred dollars <laughs> though. You know, no. Well, no. no, no we made that agreement. It's alive. Yeah. They don't, they don't the, do dead bounties for this exact reason. They don't do dead well, bounties yeah. because then people would just be yeah. shooting everyone for money. Like yeah. it, it wouldn't work. That's why the yeah. alive but, thing. So I'm glad we did that. One of, one of the things that I think was the most disappointing was that I, sh as you guys probably saw, the reason that he hopped off the wagon was because I shot his horse in the fucking head with a shotgun and killed him. Yeah. And he even admits, he said to the police, he said to the lawman right at the end there, he was like, oh yeah, they shot and killed my horse and my horse was dead. And yet 35 seconds later after the firefight, he immediately spawned his wagon again and was trying to put us in the back. After I, I shot his yeah. horse in the head and he admitted that the horse was dead. Oh, but no, he has his backup wagon 35 seconds later. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I know. It's uh, it's kind Bummer. of like an ongoing thing. Like when it comes to like people that are kind of, um, I don't know. You're trying to, you got to balance game mechanic with role play. And sometimes people forget to ask themselves, is this like a plausible thing? And they just, yeah. they get so systematic with like functions. Yeah. That they sometimes, I don't know if they, you know, I don't think people do it intentionally to be like, unless you know, when you're in the heat of the moment like that too, right? Like you, you, like some people have like that adrenaline or whatever turn on and it becomes game time instead of like, oh yeah, stopping and thinking and being like, is this fun for everyone involved? Yeah. That could be a lot. That could be really hard for some people to really reel that back and Lo be like, okay, what's going on here? Am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the thing that is going to make everyone enjoy the situation or am I playing a game? And that's a, that's a very hard thing to switch off, especially if, especially when you're playing a game, you know what I mean? Like you're literally in a game. Obviously it's not a game. If it was, we just play Red Dead, on, Red Dead Online. Right. These, these titles, these are canvases that we paint stories on. We just use the world as tools and props and sets to make it immersive and stuff like that visually appealing. And then we just go in there and just use that world to our advantage. And then just to have people, that, that separation between the mechanic and the role play is it's 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 a hard curve for some people and i and i understand i understand how it can be hard but uh you learn though like like hopefully um he learned from i'm hoping he learned something from this of where like oh i could have done this i could have done that etc etc even even on our end we have to do right? a report i don't know i mean like uh, uh, i was trying to talk think, into i was trying to think what dungeon. could uh, what could i have done in that and what i would have done if i knew you guys were dead i would have made my hands up and go oh i'm scared so here's the, here's but, the way we look from start to finish we asked the guy to pull over we you know in that situation when he's running away maybe his shouting wasn't on right you know what i mean like you, you, you think yeah. you're thinking i didn't hear anything from him he's still going how do we get this guy to stop we just held him up with like a bunch of guns okay so we shoot at the wagon and the horse or whatever, right? Just try to make him stop. And he did stop. He started running. We're starting to shoot. <laughs> then he shoots back and then it, it escalates really quickly. It's a, it's a very short amount of time to react, yeah. if you will. You need, I feel like in gunshots, it's hard for people <clears throat> to turn on that. Gotta take cover and just go, are you the gummer boys? And start going into a dialogue instead really of Red Dead I really wish that Online. happened. I really yeah. wish there was like yeah, talking. Man. I wanted that so bad. Because in this, and you need the so talking much. only started once we were dead. Yeah, That's you, what need, talking. Yeah. you need so much of that. Just shit talking you boys, that come point. on out with your hands up, but with, with both guns drawn. You know, it needs a lot of that. Yeah, mess. yeah. But he might not know who he was dealing with either. Well, we don't technically we in role play we don't know who we're dealing with. You know what I mean? Just yep. because you know it's X person behind the character does not mean we know them. You have to treat everyone equally.
like, okay, so here's a good example. If you saw two dudes in the world and you knew one of them was Shroud and the other one was like Johnny Nine underscore XX, and one you, you have no idea who it is, will you treat them equally or will you yeah. intentionally go over one a little bit more? Ask yeah. yourself that. If you start, if you knew and you start beating more than that, then you should ask yourself what your priorities are in this. Yeah, because totally. you're supposed to treat everyone like a blank canvas. <laughs> Big way. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that was that was the disappointing thing is and I think that I think that there's a certain element of this in like most of the most of the RP servers unfortunately. There is there is and it is usually a relatively small but there is a relatively small cadre of people who will prioritize winning over role play. Like they yeah. if they get into a if they get into a firefight all that matters is winning the firefight. They don't want their character to surrender. They don't want their character to be seen to seem weak. But the most important, the most important thing to them is winning. So if they get into a firefight, they don't give a shit about does it make sense for their character to be, you know, to be an incredible shot and fearless in the face of three armed convicted felons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or do they just want to win the firefight because they hear gunshots? You know. Yeah. Right. So it's unfortunate, but. It's, 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 a, it's a concept that needs to be broken because there is no round over. There is no points or match. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it, it is a non-stop, consistent, ongoing thing. Ebbs and yep. flows, ups and downs. There's never a... The finale is whether you end whatever your character is doing, leave town or what have you. Those are the only finales you ever get. Everything yep. else in there does not fucking matter. You take the, like if you come out on the bottom, you can only go up from there. Take that, use it as fuel to make something of it, instead yes. of instead of thinking like, oh, geez, I lost. No, 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 no. You just got given a bunch of shit to work with. Yeah, exactly. That's actually you you have something to use. Use that as fucking fuel, and that's the yeah. hard thing for some people to wrap their brains around. Like I lost. No, you didn't. Now you got drive. That's dr that's driving power. Yeah, you got something to work toward. It's, it's it's hard to kind of burn it into some people's brains, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Once the horse was dead, I think uh, that instinct turned on of time to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I think uh, I, I felt like we were shooting just to get our point across, and then I wanted to talk. But then well, totally, well, we yeah. just wanted him to fucking stop. Obviously, yeah, yeah, exactly. He was it wasn't like we were suddenly going to kill him. We hadn't killed anybody. We literally haven't killed a single person. We robbed a few people. We didn't even shoot anybody. I don't even think we punched anybody. Like we had not physically injured anyone. We, we robbed a few people. We always I try think, to leave them with something. I think I kicked one of them by accident. Yeah, that's <laughs> fair. Yeah. <laughs> so. Although well, um, you punched the horse, though. I mean, you might have went over the. You might have went over the wall there a little that bit. All right, you know. I'm like, thinking about punch. reporting you. No value of horse. Yeah, you know yeah what I mean? like, no value. So. Yeah, that is true, man. That was. Uh, that was that was pretty RDM when it came to punching that horse in the mouth. <laughs> but, uh, what if it was so, a player? Yeah, so that was so that was it, exactly yeah. Well, I wasn't planning I wasn't planning on um, I wasn't planning on shooting at all. But when we told him to stop and he wouldn't, and then he popped a shot off, so I shot his horse. Then it all just fucking. Oh, did he? I'm not giving him slack, Thanos. I'm just. I like to try to imagine where people are coming from. I'm, sure I'm just. I think that reptilian got a got a win. Mindset sure turned on as soon as so, the yeah. horse died. Anyway, like the horse yeah, was dead, so and then he went into Red Dead Online mode. Time to win. The intent was not to. Time to fucking lay some bodies down. To, uh, I just like to try to understand where someone came from. The intent was obviously to. Because there's no way he's in the server and is just going, so I'm gonna kill everybody who ever shoots at me first thing. The cash that he had on him. You know? The thing is, like, I don't like doing that. Like, I don't like when people do that. That's just their character. They go around robbing and stuff. The point is with ours that if they got arrested or hanged or anything, Thing. We were willing to perma them. So it's not like you have to worry about these bands roving around and just robbing people and then they go to jail for 500 months and then they come back out and they keep doing it. We were yeah, willing like, to perma our characters. We had a good conversation about yeah. this, right, Milton? Before yes. we even started this. Because we, we, oh, if yeah. you're going to be doing premises stuff like this, you know what I mean? Yes. You're going to be coming in as a group, like out yes. of nowhere. Yeah, it's it, to make it a healthy, a healthy environment for everyone involved so that you're not coming in like a powerful force. We yep. put a lot of like really strict rules on ourselves. So like yes. one, we start with like fucking nothing, no horses, no yes. nothing. Yes. We have, there's a bounty up there, which is great for people to interact with us, and hopefully like it'd be cool to get into cool uh, interactions and and take us in a line. All right, that exactly. Between the two, that's yeah. That some people, you know, have, like, once it's on, experience. I just wanted. I was just trying to think. What was the thing that, that triggered the, the mindset to be on? And when I mean on, I mean Red Dead Online. Time to time to fucking lay some bodies down. We had to earn Let the bodies in the floor. 
instead of get off your horse and be like, whoa, 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 why are you shooting at me? Which I think most people know to do in the server, right? Whoa, 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 what's with all the gun shooting? Because no one on here is going to just shoot you, like, for no reason. It's against the rules. These characters are not invisible. They but yes, exactly, T-Rex. You don't know what his his like speaking level was at. His speaking that, level might have been on Whisper. It's really hard to tell what your VoIP like is set to. Gain or some RP token type of thing like that, or the fact that your characters will eventually. Unless the horse was his wife, I don't know. Cause not very upset. Made. That's exactly it, and that's that's what I think is the important thing, and that's that's what it's one of the things that I think a lot of people fail to sort of. Uh, that's one of the things that I think a lot of people sort of fail to really contemplate is that if you're playing a character that has those sort of attributes, like being unafraid of um, charging headlong into a firefight with three people and whatever the rest, you, you have to have, you have to, ha you have to balance it with consequences, just like us, just like you said, like we're willing to rob people and we're willing to, uh, we're willing to rob people, we're willing to take their money or whatever, but we're also willing to perma the characters if it comes to it, and that's what we did. Yeah. And so when people just play their characters where they can never lose and they can never be insulted and they can never be robbed and they can never put their hands up and they can never be intimidated, but they also just never die, then, then what yeah, the fuck? What are you bringing, what are you bringing yeah. to the table? That's, yeah. just, that's just me, 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 yeah, me, yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And eventually, in the short term, that might be a little bit fun for interactions, something intense happening. But when you think long term, with yeah. the health, the health of, a, of the server and the community that you're being yeah. a part of, there eventually people are going to be like, okay, all this guy does is take the best stuff from the plate yeah. and leave us nothing. And yeah. it's been like this forever. Yeah. What are you doing for us? And yeah. that, that's going to eventually catch up to those people when if they don't realize yeah. And one of the things that I think is disappointing too is that it always seems like whenever you encounter someone like that, one of their most distinct personality traits is is like 2005 Xbox Live Call of Duty shit talking. <laughs> oh, you boys never should have drawn on me, you fucking pussies. I'm the best shot in the West. You fucking, I uh, laid those boys down. I fucking took all three of them. Man. No one ever shot me nothing. Didn't get hurt. You fucking pussies. Can't fucking shoot shit. Hey, you should have fucked with me. Hey. <laughs> like, oh my God. So he's, oh, he's Chris oh, fucking man. Kyle with a, with a revolver. And he also, <laughs> dude, nothing's more important than shit talking, you know? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think it's just a lot of people funny. need to learn that trust of bragging, well, no one's, bragging to dead No one's people. here to just <laughs> shoot you, you, you out of the blue. It? No one's here to just pull up and just lay you out. Like yeah, people yeah, are screaming man. stop with guns. Uh it's a role play server. We're gonna we're gonna talk to you. We, yeah, why are you yeah. shooting at me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the problem here? Like, so, yeah, no, obviously, yeah. There's no way we were just like, gonna shoot lot of, him dead. I think yeah, hundred percent. I think I think all our uh, audiences agree and stuff like that. Like it was a great concept. Like it was a lot of fun yeah, and everything yeah. that happened after there. And yep. obviously, we cannot just go back in. We can't do yeah, gunplay. The gunplay's no. done. That was the rule. We're not going to break yep. that rule, just yep. because it might be a, a lucrative or fun thing. We're going to stay true to that because that, that's healthy for the place that we're in, and we're going to respect that server. Yes. And their the way they want to do things. But that doesn't mean we still can't do something Absolutely. creatively together. Right. And oh, if, yeah, if chat has ideas else. or we have ideas, we want to spitball some ideas of something we can do that can bring something interesting and different to the server, get as many people as involved, whether that be through tension, comedy, or whatever it may be, by all means, share with the share with the crowd. So I like the idea that uh, Classy sort of mentioned, and that is making some characters who are who like make their living traveling from town to town with a fucking uh, people in chat are saying Gummer gals. Hey, let's go here. No, oh, God, no. <laughs> Gummer gals. No. Um, I like the idea of creating a group of three like charlatans. Maybe we could even. <laughs> it might be funny to make them. Uh, we you know we could sort of reboot a version of like Cornelius Chauncey and a third British fellow maybe, and they're like uh, snake oil salesmen, and they go from town to town with a wagon selling snake oil, and one of them will always act like the plant in the crowd. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have hell. And the best snake part oil. about it is we do the loop of the towns and then yep. when we get back to the town we swap out the people so then you can like see all of a sudden yeah. wait a minute wasn't that guy in the <laughs> yeah. crowd and, and you swap yeah, exactly. them out and they change roles and you can obviously tell <laughs> yeah, yeah. That something is wrong yes i, I so love the chauncey cornelius thing i think they'd work perfect <laughs> in red dead man 
some oh, like sir. British British genteels. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes. Uh, I had tuberculosis and took this in. <laughs> what did you know? Oh, the next day I woke up clean and fit as a whistle. Come on. Ah! <laughs> Cornelius! Precisely. That might be an idea. Stuff like, there's also uh, what was another idea that I had. Pirates? That just. Oh, yeah. Boat yeah. pirate. pirate. Oh, huh? fucking pirates would be amazing. Like living on a boat. I mean, you have to stay near shore because otherwise you like the yeah. boat sinks for some weird fucking one reason. The, but if you stay near the shores, it's not bad. Yeah. One of the issues that I have with Chauncey, unfortunately, is just as I predicted, as soon as I did the Chauncey voice, everyone in chat said Eugene, even though Chauncey predates Eugene <laughs> by like fucking years, everyone will think that I'm impersonating Eugene. If you surprised, Chad, how long a lot of us have been role-playing? Yeah, you'd be surprised. There was a lot of role-play before no pixel. Yeah, believe it or not, Chauncey's been around for three fucking years. Years! <laughs> yeah. I also like the other, you had that one boat thing, you did the the French, the French boating would be funny too. I remember class, classy. I think yeah, the French. That, huh? I would love to do that. You want to do? We could do three French fishermen. So think Monty Python with the French is at the Night Castle. Yeah. But they're in a boat, just ban and like taunting people from slightly offshore in boats. <laughs> <laughs> There's three fishermen. We come in town. We, we grab supplies. We go back on our boat, singing French songs, and just from from <laughs> shore. What the hell is you want? Hello, you Yankee dog. You smell like horse pookie. <laughs> and you're a <laughs> I dare you to come in the water or try to fight us. I dare you. <laughs> and that's the whole premises. We just go around shore, just in our boat, singing songs. And when we see people, we just taunt them. That's fucking it. That's really it. I don't know how far that could go. And I don't I like know how many people can go to shore, but that would be it. Definitely build off that one. I like it. Also, there was I another, like that, man. I have, I, I, uh, uh, unfortunately, I'm doing with other people, but, oh, man, that would have been so much fun with you guys, too. What? Uh, I'm doing with Selvik and Keen Amazing, three Northwestern Mounted Police from the Dominion of Canada mm. coming down. Oh, and they're, my God. They're getting, they're getting experience because they're hoping one day the Canada can be a nation of their own. So they want to do ride alongs or shares like that. And we're going to kind of take law into our own hands in a sense, slightly. And Kina can only speak French and we poorly translate for her. <laughs> <laughs> that I was the idea. I love that idea. I Damn. wonder if there's something along that vein we could do. Maybe not so much the Northwestern Mountain Police, but something along that vein like... um. Like shitty Pinkertons, like not not <laughs> like we're badass Pinkertons, yep. but like we're we're really bad like private investigators, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> like three really shitty gumshoes that just <laughs> don't fucking succeed. Like if we kept so if we we, we capture someone, like we tie the ropes loosely, we turn around and kind of forget about them when we're writing notes, and they fucking run off and be like, oh god damn it, <laughs> you, know, like, you know stuff I like, like that. that. I like that. Yeah, that 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 could be fucking funny. A dungeon says you can file for an investigation business license too. Oh, that, dude. I think that, that that could have a little like episodic potential. Mm -hmm. Like until we get like either, you know, either we get in shit with the police because we're doing something really fucking stupid or we get killed by whoever thing. But that'd be kind of a neat thing if we did like, I don't know what you call them, the Plunkertons or something fucking the stupid. Plunkertons, yeah, that's <laughs> not a bad idea. Like city, oh my God, like fucking city slickers. They want to be like bad, oh my God. They're like, they want to be like badass, like private investigators, but they're obviously from Saint Denis. They don't they, like they dress cowboy, but it's not quite right. You know, you know what I mean? Like a little overblown. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they try absolutely. to be like they try to be like, yeah, badass. We're gonna we're gonna clean up this town. In a sense. And yes, since we're absolutely. if we're not police, we can go down into the scariest parts of the map, which is like Tombstone and Armadillo, <laughs> and go down there and fucking start shit with actually like really rough people. <laughs> also, what do you think of the, that idea? Is I that a that. good idea? I fucking love being um, just the the bad version of whatever. So I'm always down for that. Yeah, I'm always down to be the fucking the. the I like the, yeah. the, 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 the incompetent. The it's yes. so much more fun yes, when you're getting exactly. your shit kicked in. It is. I, that's that's the whole and that's the whole premise behind like Kiki and Chi Chi is the fact that they look so hideous that they're so easy to make fun of. That's the whole reason that I, I made her because it's fun to design a character that immediately comes into every interaction at a disadvantage. 
I love yeah. I love doing that. It makes it more fun when you're if you just come in and you're the, the best at everything and you're expect you're, you're you know yeah. you're expecting to be hailed as the alpha. Like it's just I don't know, it's just not fun. I like it when they're they come in not good at whatever they're doing, you know? Yeah. There's a lot more to happen. A lot more bouncing around the walls. So much more fun. Yeah. Okay, well, so which direction do we start? Are we uh, are we feeling like it would be a good idea to to sort of go forward with? Do we want to sort of like brainstorm some ideas today and take a few days to think about it? What do you I think? think? That'd be a good. I think that'd be a good idea. Yeah, yeah brainstorm around. a few ideas, pick the best, see if chat likes these ideas, and then kind of go with whatever feels good. Also, we the, whatever the, makes the, most sense the, for us. And the Shalom Home style duo that doing the snake oil, <laughs> we could do a trio or something with that too. That'd be fun. <laughs> Jewish snake oil. Well, they don't have to be Jewish. <laughs> You know, just the dynamic. What was Milton? What was her? What was her name? Gloria. Gloria, was it Gloria? Monroe, baby. <laughs> what do you say? We come on over here and just buy some snake oil. You can rub it on your little schnookums. We can oh, be like me. something, something long and stretched out for a title. We are Gypsy Jewish Snake Oil Salesmen from Albuquerque. <laughs> like that, like we're really fucking long. Dude. I would, f I would fucking love that. I would actually fucking come on, baby. What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't you want to clean up that rash you got from riding your horse for so long? That would be amazing. I would love to do that. that we could do like, awesome. maybe it could mean maybe not so much like Bernie and um, I mean, still, still keep it like the same chemistry, but then yeah. it could be like it could be a literal Jewish family, like yes. husband, yeah. wife, and son. Mm. And then they work together with a caravan type of thing, going around selling yes. like shit that they they're pondering off the most dumb shit. Yes. And that's how they make their living, just bullshitting people. Yes. And then you got you got, so you got the family banter, but then you also have like when you mix into town, then all of a sudden like this like this, you know like six like sixteen year old kid up on the thing doing the speech, but then the mothers in the crowd, I'm a stranger. You know, like, <laughs> they just they Who just work. <laughs> I've never seen you boys before in my life. Whoa, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's perfect. It's a fucking great Scamming idea. is such a fun. <laughs> another play, idea man. I had was we could do like the kind of like the the three not the three sombreros. Oh my god, what was it? The three amigos, but they're like really shitty musicians that can't stay in tune or play music at all. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Just playing gu gu guitar out of tune. Bye. Oh yeah, we would we would get some. Bamba. Yeah, yeah. We, and I had this one character I did for one day because I was testing the waters of the server. I've never done it before. And all he knew was one piano tune. And okay. he would he would let everyone request a song, but it would always be the same tune and he would just try to make his own lyrics. So like so it was like play Amazing Grace. And I'm like, hey yo, get your face. Oh Lord, it's Amazing Grace. I just make up my own fucking song. <laughs> So we could do like that. a That's spin funny. of that, but we have like these three sombrero wearing dudes, a mariachi in a sorts. Ooh. And then we just have to make sure one is on guitar, one oh, like we'll just have someone playing music, right? And then we'll have like the singer switch out whatever depending on the song, and then we can just kind of improv our own little fucking musical yeah. thing and just oh. tour around or whatever. That'd be so That's another good. idea. I'm do the three to, amigos, uh, like uh Mexican. Write or something. some of these down. What are we saying, Justin? We could do like three amigos, even one, one or it didn't even have to all be. Uh, we could do one of them. I would do, do Mexican would be so fun to do. I don't think I've seen one like Mexican cowboy. Yeah, I think it'd be funny if it seemed like a weird dynamic. Like one of them wasn't even Mexican. He was just dressed up as one. Like, like, remember yeah. when we did the mafia thing in, in <laughs> oh, GTA for a little bit, dude. Justin? And I did was what? like the one guy that wasn't like Italian. I'm like, yeah, forget about oh, it. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yo, so I could be like, yeah. I love see. that. that was, <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even sound that was, Mexican. That was, one of my, that was one of my favorite parts was when you were Phil Ding. And Bill Ding would come in like, ha ha, big boy. Oh, my God. Send you my baby. I'm Kyle Roy. And you're like, hi, my name's Phil. Yep. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hi, I'm Phil. I like, I like playing Ding, the straight man. I, that's, I think that's a good combination with the three of us is that we all have like a different, like I bring the straight man. Yeah. To, uh, Milton brings the chaos and Djibouti brings <laughs> brings the ping pong paddles. <laughs> and we all, we all bounce off each other. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Yeah. Like this fuck town yeah. isn't big enough for the two of us. Oh, I'd love to do it, man. <laughs> what are we going? Yeah, we can even do three amigos. Each one of us is a different ethnicity or something, too, just to mix it up. <laughs> <laughs> just just unlikely amigos they're just like not even you know, amigos just the three <laughs> like, I, or the, the, the three guys yeah absolutely because <laughs> one, one of the things that i've been trying to figure out is how to bring in uh, rip immersion bruv 
Ain't you want someone to buy something from? <laughs> it's just a Close creepy nice. fucking British guy. Like three of the creepiest characters from Peaky Blinders. <laughs> I'm trying to mm. think of what we could do with just some really creepy fucking British characters. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. You want hmm. something like, I don't even know, like thank organ you, harvesting or something? d thank you, know? you for those gifty like, subos. Dude. Although I don't want to, I don't want to kill people either. So that makes it kind of complicated, but. I'd like to do something where I can bring Rip Immersion back into the mix, too. <laughs> Rip well, you know, there is that weird science lab up north. <laughs> like, that is true, yeah. All we could roleplay is the Tesla brothers. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome, Pog! <laughs> <laughs> Want to come up to my science experiment cabin? Uh, Chinchilla's oh, that other idea. Well. Oh, yeah, there was like a Driving Miss Daisy idea, too, where it's like little servant boy or whatever driving around like rich British monarchies. But... There's that one too, and then uh, exploring the Western culture and civilization. Oh, clockwork Orange and vibe. Then, what else was there? Mountain men just seems like always a fun time, but that that can be done easily solo. This gotta be something that kind of yeah. You, so you, what you got? You got French pirates, uh, Jewish family, the three amigos band of the uh, bad band members. Uh, oh, also like the, I guess like the Plunkertons, or you want to call it. Like oh yeah, yeah, I'll write that down. Really too. shitty oh. detectives, Alex. Think the or really shitty pledge. private detectives, or you want to call them private uh, force, not really force, but yeah. I like the tres amigos, the tres amigos. Down I like the those. Board, the I like I'm trying to think of. You get the device. We can do. Ring the warm. Hmm. <laughs> we could have like <laughs> three like. European, like Swedish bakers or something, and we we make meat pies exclusively out of horses, oh. and our whole thing is to try to like separate travelers from their horses and lead their horses. And, like two of us can be talking to a person, and one person can lead their horse somewhere. And... Always trying to kill people's <laughs> horses. <laughs> hey, mind getting off that horse Ooh. for just a second? Oh my god! Wow. Ooh. Would you like to know how I make these cakes? Come on over. <laughs> I'll show you. That's more German than anything. That might be funny. <laughs> what You're a man you have. You're going to make a horsey <laughs> Would you like to know how I make the pastry? <laughs> Such a uh, glorious right. stallion. Oh, we could. What we could do. Oh, man. What do you think about... Uh, doing a like three person revival of the fucking you're uh you're like televangelist yeah Lord, God, God, I come out here and we'll have people like we can, evangelical we, yeah. yeah evangelical and we can have we can have once again we can have like the someone who's a plant and like we'll have one of them who will like <laughs> basically drown in the water we could go around we could go from town to town baptizing people for like five dollars or something oh, you know be so good it's perfect because it's the <laughs> snake oil vibe and you're you're scamming yeah. people. You're asking for donations all the time. Get to throw them in water where they're tied up. You can send notes all around the town for like a congregation around one of the big churches, or like there's like the big one in Saint Denis or whatever, or like or one of those small backwater towns. Yeah, totally. And then just have people load up, or even take them down to the water and fucking hog tie them. But you know, hog tie them so they go into the water like you're baptizing them in the in the river. <laughs> yeah, like exactly. dump them in. You or you feel like I'm just throw them down like a high current river. <laughs> high current river, and just have them like go down. You've been saved. He's like, Whoa, you... <laughs> as he's going down the, as he's going down that. the river and stuff like that. Fuck yeah, <laughs> I love good. that idea. This is also like we could do. I was trying to think of a hard way to do like a very like. Some, have you seen Disby stuff lately? So they. I they I they're doing, they're doing a brothel house, but it's not brothel. It's, oh, yeah. It's all yeah. a little bit of that. So they bath people. Yeah. I was trying to think of, like, if there's a way we could do a drag house, like drag queens. Well, see, the thing like is, that? like, for months I've been planning Kiki's thing. And Kiki's thing is that um, she runs a pleasure house out of, uh, out of the Saints Hotel, which happens coincidentally to be the exact same place that Disby's running hers. Yeah, yeah. But Chi-Chi, Chi-Chi's whole thing is that um, she, uh, she she invites people to this pleasure house and when they get there she's like i'm gonna make your sweetest dreams come true and they're like oh i'm like why don't you come up to this room so we can get more comfortable and they go up to the room and she and she she's like you are a you are a great you're a great cowboy you don't you don't even smell that bad i bet you have big smart thoughts in your head and it's just like validation that's validation. There's nothing there's nothing sexual about it it's just positive affirmations <laughs> <laughs> so, Positive we can, information. You know, we can we can 
come at it from an angle like that. What else can we do? The more I keep thinking about that Chauncey Cornelius thing, it'd be cool to pin people against each other. Because we, our dream was to make them like hunting humans, right? If you like, yes, make, absolutely. If we just find people and put wagers of cash on who would win in a fish fight. I'd bet my money on that big one. <laughs> You're on, Cornelius. What, are you afraid to get a little bit of fisty cuffs or what? <laughs> Has anyone been doing, like, um, uh, outdoor adventure stuff? Like, so you bring people on an experience of the Western civilization. Like a... Like a, a I don't know what they call this. Outback, an, an outback adventure group. Uh, yeah. Where you take people on a wagon, you provide the provisions for them and all the stuff like that, and then you go to campsites, you sit around, play guitar, go on hunting trips and whatever, but obviously in our fashion, the way we would do it, you can put like a spin on it and stuff like that, of where you can have people come up and then pay us for like an experience, and we take them on a tour, like a bear tour or a cougar tour or what. Oh, Undead Baron's doing something like that? Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, that's a really cool idea, the tours and stuff. So much of the map you can start be... getting into. Totally. You know what? I wish there was a way to bring into the server, but I'm not sure if there is. Can you imagine how fucking cool it would be if the three Boys. of us could run a hot air balloon <gasps> company? Motherfucker! <laughs> Ooh. Okay, that what? would be awesome. Okay. Fuck yes! Who has seen the movie, uh, the Wes Anderson movie, with the kids that go on the go camp? The, the kids that what? The kids that go to Boy Scout camp. I don't know if I've ever even heard of it. What's the name of that movie? God damn it, it's on the tip of my tongue. Wes Anderson movie. Moonrise Kingdom. Moonrise. Moonrise Kingdom. What if we role played the first ever Boy Scout Club group with a with a scout instructor <laughs> and two kids? <laughs> That's good. I love that because there's the so first much of Boy the map, Scouts dude. of America. There's ever. so much of the map, and people are not going up there or down south even. We can do. We can go wherever we want and just have like the like the shittiest fucking teacher. Or shittiest fucking counselor that's supposed to be like teaching these <laughs> young melding minds how to survive in the world in the in the wild, but obviously they're horrible at it. Kind of like what happened today with the snake bite thing and stuff like that. Scout playing tour. on that shit, oh, yeah. going to the wildlife, <laughs> cougars, bears, a lot of the world to play. But it's like a nature tour thing. But instead, we're teaching them how to survive. But obviously, we are horrible fucking teachers. <laughs> what if we did that? Like we were, we, we found people to teach them how to live in the wild, and we're like the scouts of America. We want to, we can call it something like that, like the first ever Boy Scout thing ever made. But it's not for kids. We can do it for adults too, <laughs> or anybody we want. I and do like. We that. can even dress like the shorts if we can find shorts and stuff like that with a tie and shit. Yeah, absolutely. And then just, yeah, how to build a fire with sticks and shit and stuff like that. Moss grows on the north side of trees. What kind of what kind of bird is that? And give them just a bunch of weird fucking horrible information. <laughs> <laughs> Completely send them astray. That's another idea. Boy Scout group or whatever. The first Scouts of America. That could be fun. That's actually not a bad idea. I, I like do that like one that. a lot. You get to take people out of towns too. I just like. Yeah, I really exactly. like doing you get to play. explore the map with that one. You get to take yeah. some people and take them on an adventure. That's the key. You know what I mean? Like you grab someone, take people you out. give them the time of their life, and then you dump them somewhere and be like, "What the fuck happened?" <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You can't be more selfless than that. You know what I mean? Like, come here, come with me, and you'll see a world of pure fuckeration. And then send them back to the camp. And be like, what happened? I'm out ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that. You, if, what, what the fuck are the? What the fuck is that YouTube series called where it's that guy and he's like, you can tell that this is nature by how neat it is. <laughs> like, yeah, that, like that. that. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, you take yeah, a yeah, combination yeah. of that. You take yes. like the guy from Moonrise Kingdom. Yep. You take that. That's pretty neat. You get a combination of three different type of uh, scout masters. Yep. Put so that way we play off each other very good. Yep. And then you bring people into that fray and see how they fucking react to us. I do love that idea. Less chances of us also being all three of us gunned down in a single fucking uh, encounter, hopefully. <laughs> I think I think 100% guarantee we're not going to get gunned down. I don't think we're going to be the type of guys that have like, you might have a gun like <laughs> getting rid of bears or something. <laughs> and that's about it. Oh, what was the other one too? There's, there's a lot of stuff you can, I think it was Grumpy. Grumpy was doing like this guy named Bat Boy. He's from the circus. We could do a circus freak show. In the swords, but I think I think Moon had a pig character too. There's a couple people that have been kind of inclining on the the freak show stuff. So I don't know if we want to like capitalize on that, or or we be saturating the oh, server with if that. If I stuff. could get the little person model, I would be so happy. 
<laughs> you can make him short. You can make him short. I mean, and then we can have like someone who's like the you know the woman with the beard, right? You know, yeah. lady with the beard, and then uh, dream. Oh, you have the bearded lady. Yeah, bearded Dude, lady. Yeah, they have the giant guy and the the little person. Oh, it'd be so fun. Come on, boys. Mm-hmm. Come on down here. Why is that horse <laughs> so goddamn big? <laughs> <laughs> you little donkey. And this is like what other professions are in there? Like, uh, I think there's a couple of photographers, but I haven't really seen too many. There could be some like that, like when it comes oh, to like doing well, really awesome family photo sections and stuff like that. <laughs> was that Justin? Like the picture that takes like 30 minutes to take. Just stay there. Don't move. You don't, <laughs> don't make them most, the make them do the most awkward poses and shit like that. <laughs> like they make them like get a family portrait. Or, like you want to look like a badass. And then we make them look the most possible not like a badass. <laughs> 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 You have like the cameraman, then you have like the makeup artist or some or dresses them up, you know what I mean? Like to get them into the right attire. Then you have the person that's like the director of the situation of like telling the scenes and stuff like that. And then we can actually take pictures and I, I can like throw them in Photoshop or whatever and like add like an old vintage touch to them and then send them to them like on Discord DMs and they can actually fucking see how ridiculous they look. <laughs> <laughs> we could do. <laughs> We wouldn't call it Photoshop, but we can call it something else. Like we patent pended it, so we would print out like the aluminum pans of it, and then I just take a knife and I like scratch shit. <laughs> like I scratch mustaches on and like eyebrows. <laughs> look, I photo scratched it. <laughs> now you look stronger. I, I like scratch on like bigger muscles and shit. <laughs> I like that. That could be a fun little side project and stuff. And then I, I, I still like, yeah, I, I still think that like those first three, um, like ideas were really strong. Yeah. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's good to have some in reserve because it's, it's also fun just to have multiple characters that we feel like playing <laughs> like mm-hmm. multiple groups so that if we, one week we want to do one thing, one week we want to do another thing. Like we're not, mm-hmm. we're not restricted by only having one active group of characters. So we can bring a couple mm-hmm. in and try them out, see what we think. Which of the ideas feels the most comfortable to do? drop into let's see so the ones i i if i'm being honest the one that i think might be fun because i think it's so unique uh i i'm personally stuck between the super super jewish family uh and we can decide what they want to do like if they're going to be the uh if they're going to be uh snake oil salesman or what um and i like the idea of the uh evangelists i think that those two would be easy and natural to get into and haven't been done on the server as far as i know Mm -hmm. so that my vote would be for i mean all of them sound so fucking fun um yeah i don't know i don't know i i I honestly the plunkertons the jewish family the fake evangelists that's probably the three that i think i'm feeling comfortable with I really like the evangelists. I like the evangelists I, like the the I know I could jump into that one in a heartbeat. We would have okay. to probably figure out the Jewish family a little bit, but I can see the potential of that for sure. Okay. The fake, uh, the fake evangel, uh, ev- 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 I hate that word. The <laughs> evangelists or whatever. Um, evangelists. Evangelists. That would be. Yep. More, I think that's. I think it'd be really good for just you and Jabu to do. That's a two-person thing. I feel like three okay. would be pushing it. Okay. Because you're gonna have like a loud guy. You might have like a helper. I think that one might be like hard for three. Okay. Okay. Just, that's just me seeing like how like how I would fit in the equation. I know you two okay. would work well with that one. Like you two would go nuts with that. I think. I think. I think my picks are probably evangelists. Uh, brainstorm the Jewish family to make over, sure we, you know, over like, the we top. all have a character that makes sense for us and bounces off each other. Uh, the Plunkertons. I just, it just sounds like it's so easy to jump into and do. Um, and then probably uh, I like the scout idea. <laughs> I, 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 I can just. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, I was in Boy Scouts and like, I could just I could see it so fucking easily. I really like the nature and the evangelist. Those I like the nature because it's so different than what I I've seen. I you get, seen people, get people yeah. out of the town, get people moving. Mm-hmm. I liked it, and we can just make a little bit of cash. They they give us a little bit of money to go on the adventure, and then we just take them as long as it needs be. I think I, I think I like the nature one too because you're you're plucking random people and you just get them out. Put them on a roller coaster, you know what I mean, and then drop them off. You could do yeah, so like much. a lot of fucking fun. You could fun. do so much with that, dude. You could take them way off. You can get into 
Yeah. You can just see sets of uh, stuff around and just be like, oh, look, there's some cans on that fence. Now's a good time to practice <laughs> your shooting in case, and then bird yeah, watching. The more, then... I think of, the more I think about it, the nature one gets more exciting to my brain. There's a lot We get, we get like the shitty little knot ties on our neck. Yes. And, like, we have like a uniform, you know what I mean? Like a khaki looking, I don't know if they have like an exact one, but we can get like a really dorky uniform that we all have. <laughs> And you, we can even like yeah. make up our own, make our own cheers up and stuff like that. You know, I am a scout. Uh, we'll make it like our own, like really dorky, like saying, uh, getting into it. We can have like campfire stories at night and play guitar and actually tell, like scary stories around that. Maybe like one of the camp guys leaves off in the distance, comes back with like a bear head on. <laughs> it might be a, it might be a good opportunity for uh, what we could. Oh, okay, hold on. Just walk through me with this. What do you guys think? This, Hands this, out badges. This, oh my god! Just yeah. A, yeah, this this is just a, this is just an idea. What if Classy played the dad? Like we're all. It's like it could be the the company could be someone and sons, and it could be Classy Ooh. as the dad, and me and Djibouti as Merlin and Derek. <laughs> we're like the sons <laughs> in this nature group, and you oh. can just say things like, "Oh, this is this is my son Merlin. Why don't you go ahead and show them how to X a lot?" Like, yeah, I don't do this because my dad taught me. Let me show you. This is how you get a, a, a deer or something like that. And just throwing up the whole time or something. <laughs> <laughs> that might be funny. Oh, that that's be so funny. good. The scouts, the, the dad and his sons are supposed yeah, to be the prodigy, yeah, exactly. but they're just the like, fuck ups. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like he, Classy can maybe sort of know what he's doing, but not really. Yeah. And the two of us just have no fucking idea. <laughs> the three of us like are just absolutely the, useless. Kind of Canadian, kind of like the coach from Mad TV. And a little bit of that old man from Napoleon Dynamite was like, oh, that's, a, that's a Cherokee arrow. <laughs> kind of a mix of all those characters. <laughs> all right, boys. <laughs> We're going to sit around the fire. We're going to see how to make a, how to make a squirrel on a stick. Son, now show the man how to make a squirrel dog. <laughs> Good job. Good job, everybody. All right. So you burn your you burn your gopher burning badge. <laughs> I like that we'd be like at a campsite and be like, now we're gonna have a guest speaker. And like a native dude comes out and just says words of wisdom of nature, just disappears back into the trees. We're like, it was like What if it was just, what if it was literally the father and the son and then the third person was an like a like a like like a uh, a native? It was just part of the group. Who was the most real funny. one of the three? Yeah. <laughs> like, like the deadpan in a sense of where he's like, <laughs> just he's there for money. Like he knows how to do things. So if things go wrong, he could be like literally step in and like correct it. But he's just there, he's getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, Wandering Willie? I'm just here for money. <laughs> <laughs> that's sort of like what my, uh, that's sort of like what my character's like with the Djibouti boys with, uh, with Justin and um, Damon, with Whistling Willie and, and Tumbleweed Tom, that's that's his whole thing. He's just sort of like strong and silent, and that's about it. So that can, well, that we can do the two boys really well. either way. We'll, we can figure out the combination. I'm down to be the dad. I don't care. I mean, that sounds like a fun thing. The dad or a native or something. I like both. They're fantastic. I think we should do this. I like that one. That though. sounds right. That, it sounds yeah. right. I like that one the most. Now that I'm thinking I about it. I do know the, for a fact, though. I do know for a fact. Coming from the lawman perspective, I've been on the surf for like as a, obviously as a sheriff for a while now. There's little to no action, like when it comes to like um, robbing stars and stuff like that. But yep. this sounds just too fucking good to pass up. This sounds way and, too good. Yeah, and like we can we can um, we can make some characters that will make the lawmen's lives interesting afterwards. I do yeah. think that I'd like a bit of a break because yeah. as soon as we make criminal type characters, it seems like everyone just wants to shoot us in the face and turn our bodies in. <laughs> but, you know, we could, who knows, man, maybe maybe with the Jewish family, we, we could create something sort of like the mother and the two sons from um, the Goonies. Oh like, my like, God. I could, I could play Gloria and I could be the oh, mother. Get name? over yeah. here, you shake it, you slummy. What are it, you talking about? You stupid bitch. Oh, you stupid son. Try and shoot you know, me. You know, why you always say that you like my brother better? Why do you always say, you always say that you like my brother better? That's right. I do like your brother better than you, you, you fool. And just punch him in what the if face. They were even, what if they were just a tad bit more criminal? Like we robbed general stores. Yeah, like a, totally. That's like what we I was set up a wagon and tried to distract. Yeah. So we're robbing a general store, but yeah, like we can do something like they, they could have like a, you know, like we could roam town to town and I could, whoever's the mom could be on the horse and then could use like the rag doll to fall off the horse. And while yeah. people are checking on her, they could run in and like rob the general store or something, you know? 
I like I'm it. liking this. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, I got I got work to do. We got ideas. Got, some, got good ideas. Got flesh these out, boys. Mm-hmm. You want flesh okay, them out? I think we'll, it's safe we'll to say. I think it's safe time. to say nature walks next. If we do something together I'm like so that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We can fine tune Let's, the dynamic and who's who and what the voices are and what they'll look like, and then yeah. maybe we can yep. rock those bad boys next time. Yeah, we can try I it out same agree. time next week, maybe. Yes, I it. think so. Yes, okay, yeah, yeah. I think so. Wednesday, Wednesday dumps are pretty fun. I like them. Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, we'll give it a fucking whirl. I like that. Deal. Let's do it. Deal. Awesome. Right. Rest in peace, well, the Gummer Boys. boys. Uh, yeah. The sorry, last... sorry to see the Gummer Boys go so soon. They were a yeah, lot of fucking fun to play, is. man. Is what it yep. is. Yeah, that's the nature of the beast. Until next time, boys. Always a pleasure role playing with you. I look forward to Always. it every time. Absolutely a pleasure. Always guys. a good time. Always a fucking good time. Until next time, boys. Until next and, week, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, well, it takes a long time to shop the ideas. The character creation thing can take hours. And we gotta bounce the idea back and forth. But um, let me give you guys a little sneak peek at the curl. How about that? You guys can see what he at least looks like. Lurkin, thank you for those bits. Gert Cannon, yo, D Lo, thank you, D Lo. Chinchilla Thrill, Bandito Mariachis, who forced our captives to listen to their music. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Let's go on server four where there's literally no players. Skeletor's Taint. Think of the Prime 25. Rest in peace. Drop a rip. Drop a rip a rooney. For the Gummer Boys. The Dun Gummed for their last time. And they got gunned down by a bad son of a bitch destroyed now let's see here what else we got yeah Sir. teddy king Whee! coming in with the three months what up dude El Paolo, a baker's dozen. 13 months, dude. Thank you so much. Now, what do you know of the legends of the curl? Some say he's a bounty man for hire. He's got a silver tongue for the ladies. He's a man with many tricks up his sleeve. God damn. Oh shit. Now wait a minute. I didn't make him like this. God damn. <laughs> now god damn, what the hell? I got this metal shit on my dick. God damn. Anybody, any ladies around here wanna shine my buckle? Who wants to touch my buckle? I didn't design him like this. Hold on. Boom. How's that? Come on. I spent so much time making... Come on. Come on. Load it up. Come on. The pants. Where's my pants? Oh. Come on. The reveal is ruined. Pants. Pants. Pa pants. Load it again. God damn it, I'm glad. That's more like it. Hell yeah. And don't forget, my lavender coat. Right. The legend of Jeremiah Curl. Decked out in lavender. Purple. He's a ladies' man. Evening, man. Oh, that Jeremiah Curl. There he goes again with his silver tongue. Oh! I'm swimming. I'ma find myself that money. I'ma get that money, goddammit. They'll see. All these rich folk gonna see. The day that Jeremiah Carl comes around. Yeah, yeah. You know why there's a money symbol on my belt? Cause I always get my money.
Jeremiah Girl. There you go. Sir! What's going on, bro? Good to see another brother walking around. Hell yeah, hell yeah! Sir! This town ain't big enough to be. Hell nah. figure out a few more story stuff with him i think me and damon came up with some pretty cool ideas damon has a character that should complement him really nicely he's just a bad motherfucker about getting that money and he's got a silver tongue with the ladies what's going on you little troublemaker out of my way could it be craig <laughs> craig's ancestor that man is wearing quite a large purple coat it ain't purple it's lavender. <laughs> oh man, that stash. So good, dude. <laughs> hey, yeah! <laughs> I love old Jerry's old soundtrack. God damn. It's raining out here. God damn, I think. I'm all wet, looking slippery. He got the nice boots on. He's got his little hanky, wipe his face down. He's got a nice coat. That's just how I do it. That's just how I do it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, rest in peace to the Gummer Boys. Um, but we got, as you can tell, there's no uh, shortage of ideas around here, so expect a whole lot more. Expect a lot of the curl coming up soon. Jerry's great, 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 great grandfather. That's right. Young Schmendrick, thank you for the 11 months. Oh, my day. Oh, my day. Dust, thank you for the two months. Uh, Peter Piper and Tendi, thank you guys so much. Um, yeah, maybe because today went ex a little shorter than usual. We'll probably, maybe we'll do the uh, VR later tonight, just to just to mix it up, because today was so short-lived. But thank you guys for watching, and uh, stay tuned next time. It just might be the Jerry Curl. We'll be back in a little bit, though. We'll be back later. Don't forget about that D&D. &D. That Dungeons and Dragons coming up Thursday. Goddamn, is that? That's tomorrow. Holy shit. Don't miss it tomorrow. Also, Beyond Two Souls tomorrow. And don't forget about the 5K giveaway going on the Instagram. That's right. At your booty, Justin. 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 Thank you guys so much. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Same unscripted. Thank you for the Prime 3, dude. On the way out. We'll be back in a little bit. Get yourself some food. Do what you got to do. See you guys. In a literally bit. God damn, his soundtrack's a banger, isn't it? Uh, the other boy's done, though, or is Milton still going? I think Milton might be still going, huh? Yeah, looks like Milton's still going. We'll send you guys uh, Milton's way. Looks like he's doing a little bit of the building. All right, everybody, get ready. We're going to host the sexiest motherfucker in the world. Everybody get in. Lock and loaded. We're going to raid him. Milton t Pike one show him some love. Show him some love. 
Show me that. Bah! Rest in peace to the Gummer Boys. <laughs> <laughs>